Good evening and uh, welcome to, welcome back to the company. Um, we left this story, uh, we're, in, we're in the detective agency, by the way, I, I mean, I, I'm not idiots. Um, we left the story, <laughs> it's a bit weird where you are. <laughs> uh, um, we left the story, and by the way, if you're new, um, welcome. Your work is a little bit cut out here, but um, uh, it's gonna be fun. No, it's not high production values, Camille. We've gone back to the past to film this. Um, uh, the first half of this adventure was played uh, actually quite a long time ago in May and uh, you were sent to, and I'm just recapping this for any of you who either weren't there or were there but came away thinking I didn't understand that or have just forgotten it, for example I've suffered a blow to the head or you've had other things go on in your life. Um, you were sent uh, as part of your work, your general work for the company, an agency which seems to try to use AI to prevent bad things from happening, although uh, there is some doubt over that. You were sent to a, a large estate in Somerset owned by a wealthy man called Bryn Thompson, and you were informed that you are there to um, avert a murder. You gathered various clues from the family members. Um, you thought it was going to, you thought you were going to leave having solved the murder and uh, everything, but in fact, no murder took place and you were forced to stay there after one of the uh, people, well, actually, all of them were quite keen for you to say, but the um, adult daughter in particular, Pam, begged you, saying, please keep us safe. That was where we left it. We left it with you going to bed uneasy with a murder still in the offing with a number of jumbled clues, some of which make more sense than others, and at least one or more of which is a Richard or Red herring. Uh, so that's the basic information you need. If you've never done this before, uh, it uses the doomed platform Twitter. You... Um, Another month has gone by without uh, Elon Musk having to remove, being able to remove the company from existence. Um, I also have a pipe, by the way. And um, uh, the way that you participate is in uh, by voting on Twitter polls. You're going, you're just going to listen to the story every now and again. And there are quite a few big decisions to make tonight. And there are uh, three ways this could end, depending on the decisions. This is the most audience-dependent plotting we've ever done. Um, so, I, you know, sometimes it'll be about, you'll know if you're a regular, sometimes it's about solving puzzles, sometimes it's about gut instinct um, to make decisions, um, but all of it will be done on Twitch, but if you're not on Twitter, which a lot of people are these days, um, you can just participate in the chat box and encourage those who are to vote the way that you'd like. Um, well, Zoe says, I always get a monthly crush on Matt, but usually it's when the song starts. This is early. There we go. Well, you're not exactly going to get less of a crush with him sitting there with a deer stalker and a pipe in his left. In his left hand could be interesting. All I'm right. Detective in this. I know you are. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, I got it. Um, if <laughs> that's what we yeah, we bought all this. Um, if you, um, I'm a detective in this, but I'm a sort of like you know weary American one with whiskey and a, um, like things aren't going great for me, which is something I'm able to I'm able to to play it. Um, I also have, we have cigars as well. <laughs> right so um i i've got magnifying i've got loads of detective shit here don't worry about that um this is a professional office where people do work right so um I, I, I don't think i can do the accent camilla but i normally try and growl one thing per episode in a cod american accent for no real reason as you'll know so let's see um 
Right, okay, we're going to start. Hi, Cat. Yes, we were waiting for you. Not really. You're the sort of person that will find that terrifying. It's just coincidence. Um, yes, sometimes it's about picking the wrong answer. Right, here we go. Here we go. So we're going to start the story, and I hope you're all well. Um, and I was going to say something else uh, about the way it's going to work, but basically I think you have all the information that you need. Um, hope, oh, yeah, what I was going to say, um, as usual, if you would like to have your microphone on, uh, that is good news for me because I like hearing people laughing. But if you don't want it on, you don't have to. And it is also worth saying we do record these and put them out just as, uh, you know, for catch up purposes. But if you're uneasy about being on something that will have a life beyond this, uh, then probably have your camera off. The dream for me is cameras on, yes. microphones on, everything on, clothes on. But you, you have a free choice <laughs> in this. I like being able to hear some people, though. Because um, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, I mean, it's already quite a strange thing to do this if you do it without hearing anyone laugh then you really do start to wonder if you've gone completely mad we might be having some problems with um twitter because twitter's again changed the way that um tweets are teed up even in the past couple of days that elon must do everything he can to derail the company but as i've said before um nobody can do that <laughs> hi everyone. i hope you're all well by the way um and uh, I, wherever you're, it might be. Jem says my mic's off because nobody needs to hear me eating a lasagna. Maybe someone can do that, and you just haven't found <laughs> it yet, Jem. <laughs> uh, while we get while these men rummage around behind me, uh, we'll have a quick roll call as ever on where people are joining from. Uh, where are you all joining from? Put them in the chat box. We all enjoy this bit. Well, Arizona, Norwich, Cardiff. It's a real adrenaline rush when we do this. Seattle, Ely, Leeds, Manchester, Australia, Los Angeles, Australians in Berlin, that's new, I think. Poland, Rockhampton, that's not new. Dusseldorf, Cambridge, Bridgend, Birmingham, Chester, amazing. Peasants, as in... Oh, that's Dave. Hello, Dave. Um, yes, Mayan, who has been all over the place uh, and has joined us from Israel and various other places, is actually in, in London. I met them a couple of weeks ago. Worcester, Eastern Ontario, Hull, Bridgewater, Hereford. Martin just says, can see the sea. I hope you know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> He's woken up. Um, all good. Are you okay? Yeah, just Zoom problems. It's Zoom problems. It's, there are Zoom problems. This can happen. Um, how cool is this uh, filter? We've also got a weird, like, old VHS. We can see it slightly, but I'm um, just, just in case anyone has any problems... Um, with I don't know epilepsy or if there's if you're sensitive to weird stuff happening on screen, um, it should be fine. Yeah, it's not your camera, <laughs> hair. You are. That's how I always do health and safety announcements. If you have any worries, it should be fine. Um, yeah, yes, we are in black and white hair because this is happening in a sort of um, in the detective office of a couple of grizzled old private dicks. No, it's not your eyes. I, I probably should have said this actually because several people have mentioned it in the chat box now. Uh, there is nothing wrong with your computer and there is nothing wrong with your eyes. We are broadcasting uh, in a, a sort of um, seedy black and white to uh, reflect the theme. What we're not doing yet is doing the actual um, game because of some <laughs> Zoom problems. So I'm just basically padding. But uh, guess what? I've done that before. I, are you? Okay, it's fine. Uh, I'm not worried at all. No, <laughs> this was all planned. You don't worry. He's just a guy in a deer stalker puffing away on a pipe. And um, he's been made a co-host now. I, yeah, oh, sorry. Undercover detective says, what, you, fi you fix my eye problems? No, sorry. There could be something wrong with your eyes. Is the lightning adapter connecting a pair of headphones? <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. I don't even understand the question. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So we've, if you put them into bigger tweets or... Yeah. Fine, fine. Look at this. Because we're blue tickers, having said all this about Elon, we now get to tell the story in bigger increments. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So I'm going to move that so I can see. Okay. Off we go. Deep in the night, deep in Somerset, deep in your head. Simpson Burn Estate is dark. The sky is dark. The room is dark. Your hair is dark. Your car is dark. Your tongue is dark. You like the show Dark uh, on Netflix, which is amazing. You once had a black cat and your mood is not pitch black, but you struggle to pick it out on a foggy day. Put it that way. Your brain feels as congested as an Argos backroom, yet as empty as an Argos backroom during COVID with its supply line issues. 
naked except for your corset. You wriggle around in bed like a prawn in a mud flat. So much happened yesterday. The note in the library, the swapping of bowls, the muttering of the young lad, the shouts of Bryn himself, the font in use, mysterious stranger <laughs> telling you Bryn was bad news and also making you guess a spice girl. The little granddaughter with her unsettling air, the strange gardener, the toilet in the crypt, some other stuff you've forgotten. <laughs> Bring this up to your absolute, and it's the only phrase, titties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the only phrase, but it is, it is what we've gone for. This job started out as a series of fun, if confusing, adventures. Now it's a series of bun adventures, in other words, problems. Lives are at stake, but you don't even know whose. You search your memory for any sort of comfort, some family wisdom, and remember something your great cousin used to say. <laughs> Cloud of Questions is too much. A minor Bond film you should watch. <laughs> Those are great at precise rhymes. You're not even sure great cousin is a real relative. And looking back, why was she always going through your bins? Still, <laughs> resisting her advice, you'll get even more jumbled up. You clear your throat. Alexa, how can I help? Her voice comes from your kneecap. You're glad you paid 220 pounds for Alexa Premium, which manifests Alexa in your actual body. A running joke, which I've just realised I forgot for the remainder of the writing. Um, <laughs> I was going to do two or three bits. Here is a list of pretty shit Bond movies, she hisses. So your first choice, which Bond movie are you going to try and get yourself off to sleep by watching? Uh, as is traditional, you have four choices, four uh, overlooked Bond movies, Too Tired to Die, Horse Bomb, Sinister, and James Bond Goes to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I see if I put gallery view yeah now I can see people that's great okay the usual problems for you I can see in, because of this massive monitor that I'm operating off I can see more of you than usual 10 of you but you don't know which 10 oh now Alex is doing something weird with the screen I can see 20 of you I can see someone fine okay fine but you don't know which you don't know which um, okay vote away there, there is a this is a right or wrong situation um it's time to say good evening to Dorian's dog, one of the beasts that I can see. Traditional, uh, early lead for James Bond goes to Wales. Um, <laughs> Joyous Echidna says, for a moment, I did believe Horse Bomb was a real movie. There's been almost as stupid titles uh, for James Bond movies before. A uh, shout out to Joyce Echidna or Anna, who did, uh, I've said this, we've said this in the company's Twitter, but um, they have done a remarkable job of... Um, uh, recording all of the clues or at least most of the clues that came up um nice but it doesn't matter whether you read that it doesn't matter whether you remember all, all the information that you have here i've not watched many um james bond movies myself i did enjoy james bond goes to wales though well done <laughs> I, don't even know, uh, I don't think anyone reminded you um this uh normally you get kind of a, a couple of easy ones at the start or one which doesn't matter this one it sort of does matter that you uh, get it right but if you don't get it right you'll know if you're a regular player you'll simply be asked uh, to vote again with reduced options so you'll be fine here in fact if anything you'll be fine uh shout out to the person whose username is detective garb and has sort of fright <laughs> <laughs> big backdrop uh, uh, some great hats tonight some great dark glasses which makes you almost impossible to perceive um a, a couple of frightening masks uh cat is his costume is great and i can see some really sinister stuff um, Reese Howell suggests resisting jumbled sinister is the right answer why the space otherwise which is quite credible but then they add Mark's not stupid which is uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid why did I spend eight hours making this thing <laughs> I've got work to do I'm a producer I'm actually also a professional comedian and author and sex pot um, <laughs> Uh, so interesting of course the the gap uh between resist and in could just have been a typo there are fairly often typos here uh and twitter doesn't have an edit function famously although actually it does have an edit function if you're a blue tick which we are not a professional sex pot yet no i'm going to set up an only fan soon if the company takes off um we have got, i'm not used to using this because this is in patients offices the, the computers the, the monitors are all massive because uh well famously coop has seven eyes and so I, um, I'm struggling to uh, look at all the things at once. I can't emphasize enough how big it is. The, the, the monitor I'm looking at you on is as big as, you know, in Times Square, when they have those 
<laughs> no, nowhere near as big as that. <laughs> but as, as big as like a, a branch of, remember Blockbuster Video before, um, you know, when that existed, it's about as big as that. Blockbuster, of course, fucked it. They had the option of being bought out by Amazon. Everyone knows what happened to Blockbuster. Um, well, remember, yes, there is a bed in the office. Any, any more questions? <laughs> I, um, <laughs> what if I told you that bed has been slept on by one of tonight's suspects stroke potential victims? Hmm? What if I told you that? Hmm? Well, it has been. So there. Uh, the poll is ending, and it looks like a win for James Bongo to Wales, which is wrong. Huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it could be long tonight as well because I've put too much into this one because I'm uh, I got <laughs> lops. He's double oh seven. Go to Tenby for some time off. It was panned by critics for containing no villains at all, and for a twenty minute scene where Bond struggles to remember the B password. It's not quite. What <laughs> So unfortunately, you're down to too tired to die, horse bomb, and sinister exclamation mark, which mm. someone has made a convincing case is an anagram of a text which came up in the. And you'll all know that. No, this is not the mattress that um, Alex was trying to. Alex did get shot of the mattress in the end. Christ knows where it is. Chris Jack is just saying horse bomb over. <laughs> <again. laughs> quite rightly, uh, and some of you might remember horse bomb, which is. Um, far-fetched plot about Russians implanting uh, bombs in horses which went into libraries and other minor public spaces to detonate them. Um, but yes, a large lead for sinister exclamation mark this time, which is perhaps useful for the point of view of the show. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, horse bomb was just a more, more popular idea than I thought. I might pitch it. Who knows? <laughs> oh, actually, you know, I... Just an anecdote, I don't know much about Bond, but an anecdote, Bond anecdote, bond anecdote with Mark Watson. Um, I tweeted this at the time, but the time is now about 2018, 19. I was once in a cab with someone, just while we vote, while we vote, I'm not wasting your time here. I'm um, I'm adding to your entertainment. Alex, um, <laughs> uh, I was once in a cab and this guy, um, a Bond theme came on. I think it was a Skyfall by Mr. Delman. And the, the cabbie said to me, Every time they release the name of a new Bond film, I write a theme tune and I send it to the people that make Bond films. Uh, <laughs> on, cassette. Um, on cassette. And he said, and they've never once got back to me. And, um, <laughs> and it, um, it reminded me of another similar time when I was in a cab, being, I was picked up on this occasion from the BBC. And the guy, you the BBC, do you? I said, not really. I'm a comedian. Um, I mean, I, I was, I'm in BBC things. I don't work for the BBC. He said, right. Um, so you don't know anyone in the film department of the BBC? I said, no, there's not exactly a film department. Not really, no. He said, right, it's just I've been writing a gangster movie. I've been doing it for years. And I'd love someone there to take a look at it. And rashly, because I'm the person I am, I said, well, I can give you some sort of, uh, I'll give you like a contact information or something and you can send it to me and I'll see what I can do. And he opened his glove compartment and brought out a several hundred pages of <laughs> action movie, yeah. all handwritten. And then he just uh, leant around and dumped it in my lap. And um, <laughs> I had spent half an hour just reading this man's 400 page gangster movie in the. Uh, and actually, uh, it wasn't bad, but his handwriting was off putting. So <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I did remember thinking this is quite a good idea, and a different person might steal it, and the cabbie would have a fucking hard time proving it. Uh, but I, <laughs> it was kind of hundreds of pages of handwritten stuff. He'd been doing it for, for years and years. I am a quick reader. Thank you. Yes. It's the only way I get things done. Um, but we're nearly done with this. In fact, sometimes we, we fast forward polls in situations like this. Um, oh, there's, only, there's only a minute left. What is a minute? Hmm? Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> you'll know Alex will know sometimes I do thought provoking stuff, not just in the company. I sometimes do it in the office. I said some cracking stuff today, didn't I? Alex, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just eat satay chicken next. Also, it wasn't loud. I'm a quiet eater. You can get fucked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together a lot, a long time today. Um, Very. Was, um, <laughs> there used to be uh, your friends and mine, girls in the office as well earlier today. <laughs> They've all gone home. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, Coop Hype. Yes, Maddie Hype. Siren Hype. Where are they when the chips are down when you needed murder averted? Hmm. Maddie didn't come in. I've oh, got a stomach bug. Christ. <laughs> the dogs. Sinister, featuring comedian Mark Watson as an ineffectual Bond who struggles with the admin, this movie was criticised for the one-dimensional depiction of a creepy female baddie. You remember the song, the video, you... dot, 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 or ellipsis, some people call it. Uh, that's not the end of the company. Something else is going to happen. I'm <laughs> <laughs> with you. You're going you're to you're gonna see the song. You're going to see the video. Yay. Yeah. 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 This is what we came for. Yes. I know this <laughs> is the main reason people still do this. <laughs> this one was a collaboration between me and Matt, though, to be fair. To like it that my woman was intense. I can't. She loves to stare at me that makes a bunch of sense. The strange look in your eyes. Well, I just thought my girl's deep. But lately, babe, I feel like you might kill me in my sleep. Look at her. Time I interrupted you. The you you day you made a food, I love Justin Bieber's wife. The night I found you polishing that 26 inch knife. Oh, look at her. Amazing hips, but girl, you're giving me the yips. But hey, without you, I would be so bereft. I love to walk along beside you, my right hand in your left. I love to watch you draw. I love to hear you say. quite a few things uh, uh, yes well a couple of things to say there firstly um matt is insanely good uh this uh, secondly crucially i have a drum kit now and um, <laughs> thirdly there are a number of potential clues in there which uh, you won't have got on the whole because you're too busy with the, the, like the sex side of it um <laughs> uh, but at least one of you was paying attention and put a couple of important things in the chat box which happens from time to time and i, I tend not to flag it because i'd rather you didn't all notice it but it's fun that it's sort of yeah it's fun actually exactly of course you were too busy jamming um jamming is, is what we say in the music business it means <laughs> <laughs> they're my son's drums but in many ways not anymore right um <laughs> you, uh, what can i say i've got a garage do i seem like i have a car do i seem like i should have a car i um <laughs> oh, i've got a drum kit i've got a dartboard i'm not even bothering to pretend i'm not having a midlife crisis so <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, you glance up at the. I've got into squash. You, you um. <laughs> Button up or racket sport. It's the first time I've been. It's, it's, it, I'm not even bad at squash. It could be that it took me 43 years to find a sport I'm not shit at. You glance up at the wall and high above the bed, see. Are you imagining it? 
a poster for the film you started watching. You scrutinize it carefully. There are one or two names that jump out. Uh, this is Mark McDonald's work. Actually, I don't think you can see it high enough definition that there are. Oh, no, you can. OK, fine. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, how are you doing that? OK, fine. Uh, <laughs> potentially important uh, clues again. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Um, I don't know. No, Anya, I do not have a skateboard. I know my limits. Begins and <laughs> also, I couldn't. I can't play drums any faster than that. So a lot of songs are going to be at that tempo from now on. And also, <laughs> be prepared for a brooding album from Robert and the Very Bad Boys. Um, oh, mind you, the Taskmaster song was faster than that, but. Uh, you can't lie here any longer, like Sleeping Beauty. You're not even sleeping. I don't feel beautiful, even though you are. Everyone is, and you've got a nice chest. Why not check out one of the locations? You don't know who I was looking at there, by the way. Um, <laughs> why not check out one of the locations you've not seen? Yet? It was 30 of you, so it couldn't, it wasn't the dodge. Um, after all, at least I wasn't picturing any of you when I wrote that. Okay, fine. After all, <laughs> uh, this place is enormous. You estimate it's about the size of Japan because the map is a whole page, and so does your map of Japan. That would be a good place to investigate. That would be a good place to investigate. There could be more clues anywhere. So you now have uh, an option of checking out one of the many places because when Mark McDonald made the map. Uh, he, he he made it so well that we didn't get around it all in part one, which is part of the reason there is a part two. So you now have the choice of checking out the murder room, which surprisingly uh, we didn't really look into last time, and also it's next door to where you're sleeping. <laughs> uh, shallow grave, a picnic area, or if you're a big baby, you do have the option to vote for no, stay here, too scared. Hello. <laughs> Detective Hare says, I'm back, something about tits. If you miss the song, Hare, then like, no disrespect, but you're like, there's no point in your life. <laughs> except, that's, except you do, there is, a, there is, well, not only is there a catch up, but like, and not only will the songs be all released separately, and not only will the band potentially appear live, but <laughs> such is the, the uh, creativity of this fandom that by now someone already would have done a remix of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Murder Room, Shallow Grave, Picnic Area, or the songs will all come out. Don't worry about that. Matt's 90% doing this to launch his music career. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I mean, you say that, I'm the one that's stolen my son's drums and moved into a garage. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's not as bad as it sounds. There's a house attached to it. But I just don't really go there. Um, that walk was mine as well. I'm doing all right. Um, so was the tennis racket. So was the new pornographer's set list. Uh, from a, a very, very special show. So quite a tight split here. Um, all, all of these are viable options, apart from, I, no, I'm not even going to tell you, There's one of them won't work out, but the rest of them are all potentially useful. It does matter which one you go for, though, and um, uh, quite rightly, sorry, man, I, by, I know, you're, I know you're, your covers are amazing, by the way, and we, are, um, we talk about it quite a bit. We talk about the, uh, the subculture around this quite a bit, actually. I don't think Matt expected his life to be like this. Um, I mean, not Alex one time, but Alex is what we call in too deep now. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is taking a picture for content, everybody. Alex is like, right there, like poking his phone in my, again, tit, strangely. <laughs> um, if you follow Impatient on Twitter, you'll know that about three times a day, you just, you do something like have some soup or have an idea and you look around and the guy is grinning and capturing it. Murder Room looks like the consensus. You think not a bad guess um, because you're a detective. You're, if you were afraid to go into but except you're not, are you? You've been plunged into a situation you didn't ask for. You're a sweet, uh, what was the phrase? A street smart fish out of water in a world you didn't create. Um, anyway, it's going to be, it's going to be, what well, I say phrase, a, one line from The Simpsons. There's going to be a, um, yes, I did choke on a ginger shot earlier. And yes, Alex did capture it on his phone. It was, yes, <laughs> Especially because I have a ginger shot every day, and it, that's never happened before. But I don't normally have Alex in my fucking grill. I, um, okay, so um, I know it sounds like quackery, but I, I'd like the more ginger you have, I think the more ginger shots. Well, not the more. Don't have five hundred. Um, no, I wouldn't take a redheaded person, Louise. It's not. It's I wouldn't do that. It's four hundred and ninety-nine. Uh, the limit. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can have. It's like bananas. There's an amount of bananas that can kill you, apparently. Because of the potassium, but I don't, I don't know. It would be so many. Um, no, I'm not in black and white in real life, and I, I also don't see colour, so I wouldn't know what a redhead was. 
Um, <laughs> slightly surprising that you haven't already checked out the murder room, but you've never been a detective that played by the rules. In fact, you've never been a detective. You put on your travel negligee. It's only next door. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a lot of travel items, you'll know that if you've played before. From the grandson's room, you can hear once more pacing up and down and mumbling. You might remember we saw the grandson, we interrupted him while sleeping and he said some disturbing things about the housekeeper. Just one of the potential murder plot lines that could play out. It sounds like he's saying, the housekeeper, I'll keep her house in a minute. A shiver goes down your spine, then back up again. Hang on, whoops, <laughs> down again, right through your arm. <laughs> you still hear the pacing and the vague threatening from above as you enter the murder room, a pleasantly appointed lounge. You can't help thinking there must be some sort of murder weapon stored in here, or why would they call it that? But if so, there's a pretty small window to be poking around. Where are you going to look for a potential dead maker? So once again, four choices as you seek a murder weapon. I like it when you giggle. Um, roll up the rug, roll up a joint, Bit of a little bit of uh, adult fun. Uh, roll up, there's a book there about the circus and role play. Again, a bit of adult fun. So uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Chrissy. I, don't, I think the front of your calf is your chin. I think all of your calf is the back in a way, but I, I, I only come here to say things like all of your calf is the back, all right? <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, <laughs> as I was saying, the back of your calf, I felt odd. But uh, do I look like a doctor? Certainly not at the moment. <laughs> or in general. I don't really like it when people are, um, you know, ill or injured either. That's the main reason I dropped out of med school. Um, <laughs> there's some response to Alex saying the ginger choking video is a banger. I think you should probably elaborate on that a bit, Alex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melanie points out, go well, not points out, she just go with the exclamation mark. It's been pointed out before that all in capitals tends to sway the uh, the company uh, voters, so we, we're not doing a lot of that this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Zoe says, I misunderstood the task and thought I needed to find something to use as a weapon. That's not that big a miscalculation, Zoe. Um, hello, by the way, I'm fond of you, but uh, and, but actually, <laughs> actually Potentially, if you do find a murder weapon, you yourself could end up deploying it. It is not impossible, let us uh, forget, that you might have to commit a murder yourself or that you could be murdered yourself. Absolutely everything uh, is on the table here. And a burp, unfortunately, from Alex Preston. Um, oh, let's not smoke a joint. We'll end up that afternoon with flavour. We've killed before, says Tracy, accurately. And if you remember the... <laughs> Uh, history of the show you, there's some sometimes the fandom will by the fandom i mean i sometimes think at night are, are you the same character who's in the house but i reckon you basically are um anyway all right p andrew yeah. yes you did kill someone called andrew but you had good <laughs> well sort of good reason you wanted some of his stuff um <laughs> and then in the end, didn't end up using much of the stuff because it was too difficult for me to work out how to thread an inventory in uh yes you also did allow well i don't know you let's you, you you saved a man from getting stung to, to death in the Honey Expo. Other people might have fallen victim to those bees, but you did what you had to do to save that guy. Oh. I, don't, I don't think you came out of the Honey Expo with that much discredit, although uh, Camilla, of course, was furious with you. But what can I say? Sometimes mm. uh, you have to save people by pissing off your girlfriend. I, I, I think that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't think, um, yeah, oopsie. Remember Oopsie Murder? The very first one, which was live. <laughs> We've done two live versions of the company, and the third live the company will happen next month. Of course, as everyone knows. So far, quite a lot of support for rolling up the rug. Not much for cannabis use, which of course is illegal in this country, although generally tolerated in small amounts. Yeah, you were you were murdered by Willie Mammoth. Goodness me, that was one of my favourite ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Melbourne, absolutely out of my, off my, well, no, not drunk, just like, well, obviously not, it was in the morning. But like when I was writing it, I was just, I was in a heightened state of creativity. And then some people got cross because my orange juice was lying down in the fridge. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was <laughs> primarily me. It's primarily you, yes. Detective Hare is having what's known as David's dinner, which you'll know from, uh, you when know, Jockey's episode means an inadequate dinner. Uh, it, in the case of that episode, Pringles and wine. Um, <laughs> yeah. I haven't even got wine. I've just got water. Just, oh, well, water's wine. not even Davis dinner. That's Duncan's mm. dinner. That's pathetic. <laughs> 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 okay. The poll is ending. It looks like you're going to roll up the rug, which I don't want to uh, spoil anything, but is a good choice. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a guess, but it's a good choice. You've been rummaging under rugs since you were a kid. It's how you find the King of France's crown that time. How on earth did you not get any reward for that? Raise the carpet and raise your voice. Hello, what's Hello. this? 
It's a shiny object about the size of a laptop <laughs> or a box of matches or a Newfoundland dog or a Frisbee. I know that we're not sure what that is. You last saw one of those when you got arrested for burning down a bingo hall. It's a lie detector. Well, fine. Mm -hmm. You know the basics of lie detector use. You need to use a control statement, a lie. If the detector, oh yeah, shit, have you got your lie detector noise? Lie detector noise. It's all right, okay, fine. It's on the computer I'm using. Right, and it, what it means is not for the first time in my life, Alex is now going to hover around my groin for a while. <laughs> <laughs> to Compose yourself, man. Yeah, um, if it is... If the detective goes off, Alex, by the way, has he, we also ordered his hat. Um, it's not even the detective's hat. I just think it's about right. Is it? What's it called? Post -boy. Baker Street Boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, right now, Alex is doing things on the computer, and I can't. I can't. Don't worry. I'm, I, do I look like a man that's ever had a worry in his life? Just <laughs> <laughs> a drummer, man. I just kind of hang in my garage, like just. I just have some grooves. I have wire brushes. I play slick jazz. I was. We all play slick jazz. Mate. Well, yeah, I will. <laughs> I don't worry. This is, this is all. I, I, to use the phrase again, this was all planned. That was that was very quick. <laughs> um, okay, so if the if the lie detector goes off, you know it's working. This has been used with a one hundred percent accuracy to clear up murder cases, DNA disputes, <laughs> and naughty stuff. Um, uh, uh, well, you, you, Matt knows when it's a lie, but you don't. So. It's, it's probably a case of you go and, go and sit as close to Matt as you can and hope for the best. And actually, keep hoping for the best throughout. Um, right. You think, you think back over your life, your many adventures, the time you were stuck in that house, there we go, for almost exactly a year. And the end, we decided it was. Nobody knows you like you, except this machine, if it's working, does. What lie can you tell it as a test? Three of them musically similar. I've never met Joe Biden. I've got a lovely garden. I've never been to Sweden. But you also have the option of just dumping the fucking thing. Um, <laughs> you're right, Tone. I, they 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 do kind of rhyme till the end. I'm very fond of uh, clues which either rhyme, and we've got a whole set that rhyme later. Right. Except you might not choose that part. There's so much of this. There's there's so many places you could go in this one. Like most of it is a real waste. But I, I don't know. I'd feel like a cheat if I didn't write it. Anyway, um, yes, okay. I've never met Joe Biden. I've got a lovely garden. I've never been to Sweden. Just hit it really hard. That's the gist of the options. <laughs> uh, there is, there is a right, there is a right answer to this, and I think this will be beyond, uh, not beyond. I think this will be within the the um, abilities of the group to get, uh, because there are a couple of very sharp people. In the group. There are a couple of people. Dare I say it? Who pay attention. only two? Yes, two. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> Josie used to have a great joke about the phrase a couple, but I'm not going to, because it's her joke and I wouldn't get it quite right, but it was, no, I'm not going to, but it was, anyway, Google it. Um, Do it. A, a, a baker's couple is three, yeah. A baker's man is two. Okay. Um, a baker's six people is seven people. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A baker's rugby team, 15, but they've sneaked a sub on without taking anyone off. I'm going to have a little drag on this. And I'm just going to have a quick look through the magnifying glass. I think, and I am actually looking for good places through the magnifying glass. Uh, great wig there. A koala in the background there. Absolutely don't mind that. Some some lipstick, some fake shit that's the same fake shit as we bought by Googling Detective Carl. Um, <laughs> uh, Detective Flanagan, present and direct. Nice to see you last week, Richard, in the flesh. Someone is doing a magnifying glass back at me, which if you if you magnify glass each other, you get a thing like when you're standing in a lift and you get like infinite and you both become really big, but in real life. So be careful. Oh. <laughs> well, <I'll> confirm. <laughs> Anna, your joy is a kidnap. Anna, thank you for your excellent work uh, in the intro. This is quite tight, but I've got a lovely garden and I've never been to Sweden. Um, well, I, well I, I think basically the correct answer is I've never been to Sweden. That is a lie because in the house you reminisced on, briefly on your time playing bagpipes at the Stockholm Conservatoire. Whereas um, we know you've got a lovely garden, it's where your toilet is. Uh, Joe Biden's <laughs> never come up yet in the game, so it can't be that. And it's unlikely you would have met him because uh, he's um, the president and he's also. Mind you, he's, he's so old, I suppose he's probably met most people. Uh, and in the end, you sensibly chose not to hit it really hard because the lie detector is going to be very important to you. So I think you did that really well. Kat says, wow, I had a wishing, I uh, wish I had a working memory. But then, Kat, you might, yes, you, of course, you paid seven ninety nine for the Google search. Um, I went over my house the other day, what, Joe Biden or, yeah, it must be, not Alex. 
Um, <laughs> I, yes, you're the person that could have been to Sweden, but also, and only a handful of you will have remembered this, but you did go to Sweden in your backstory in the house. You were, you were, um, you, you studied music in Sweden for ages. Bingo! The machine screams out in recognition of a clear lie. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know because Alex is. is, is <laughs> I, I tell you, bingo! The machine screams out in recognition of a clear lie. Yeah, it's, it's a, bit more, a bit more low tech. All that. <laughs> You studied bagpipes at Stockholm Conservatoire. You were thinking about it just last June, which is when that episode was. <laughs> Fair play if any of you remember that. <laughs> this infallible lie spotter will be so valuable as you try to work out who's telling it like it is and who's talking out of it. <laughs> Salute you, Rethra. When it's locked, <laughs> you gather the family in the kitchen, clear your throat. You clear your throat, <clears> throat, throat> quite a lot. In, uh, you clear your throat quite a lot in the company because it's often just the right number of characters to make the tweet the right length. <laughs> <laughs> I think talk out of your ether is a phrase, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <We've had worse. laughs> the thing is, whatever I write, we've always had worse because of something I did last year. Um, <laughs> as you know, as you know, you say, without wishing to alarm you, one of you is going to be dead as a doorknob soon. I, are you sticking around my hat? I'd like you all to say the following. I have no plans to murder anyone and I'm confident I will not be murdered. You're now, if everything goes well, going to watch the suspects or potential victims say that one at a time. Some of them may or may not set off the lie detector. You also can choose whether to believe them from the conviction with which they deliver the phrase. Pay attention. I have no intention of murdering anyone and I'm confident I will not be murdered. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, there's the lie detector. Goodness me. <laughs> oh, there's more, there's more videos. I have no intention of murdering anyone and I'm confident that I, that I will not get murdered. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no intention of murdering and I am confident I will not be murdered that of course is Bryn uh, in many people's eyes the most likely person to get murdered because of his billionaire status uh, and his evil I have no intention of murdering and I'm confident that I will not be murdered that's Pam, his daughter and the mother of the children you might remember she was the one who asked you to stay and keep you set, uh, keep them safe. And lastly, I have no intention of murdering, and I'm confident I will not be murdered. The housekeeper. Uh, oh, that's out of the light. <laughs> uh, so the lie detector was set off by uh, the housekeeper and the boy. But I, I think I must tell you at this point that the. Uh, the, light, the videos were played in a different order from what is in the script. Uh, so that <laughs> <laughs> the lie detector is perhaps less useful than you might have hoped in that situation. Uh, however, there was a, there was at least one clue in the way that they uh, did it. I can also tell you my mum fucked it up first time. And I've got quite a good blooper reel video of her creasing. Uh, okay, sorry, not my mum, the housekeeper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on we go it is good content isn't it i uh right um so there you go um exactly putting the emphasis on intention to kill was an interesting choice they didn't all say it quite the same way even though they were no. meant to deliver it exactly the same and it's uh, that that is those were deliberate choices um that is pretty much the last oh no it isn't quite the last you'll see of my family i it is good of my family to play along with this nonsense. Thank you, Dorian. They, um, they, they, I think they quite enjoy being the um, first one they've been sort of looking forward to this, but I don't know. Like, imagine if I was your son or your brother or whatever, like, and this would be the, the least you'd be worried about me. Like, <laughs> you'd be with me, everything seems all right. If I'm my mum and I know stuff that my mum doesn't know about me, I'm like, okay, this is not a problem. Um, <laughs> it's hope my sister won't pets. Anyway, um, Watto, yeah, Watto fam height, fair play to the family. I will not be exploiting them in future episodes. This is not some sort of self indulgent what stuff. I just chose to um, do the last one like this because my I had access to this 
crazy place. Anyway, um, there you have it. <coughs> interviewed all the suspects and the lie detector has done its stuff. Now it's going to be a question of observing anyone you think is either looking a bit killy or a bit silly enough to get murdered. <laughs> 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 who, who should be? are you going to make the subject of your particular scrutiny you never know you might get the chance to do them all but the order you get the information in could be the difference between a death that was a sort of lifted that idea from peers um i like said the point. <laughs> <laughs> and everything being fine so whom are you going to keep an eye on? A potential victim to try and shield them? The possible murder to thwart them? You love a thwart. Or someone who seems suspiciously under the radar? Your options <laughs> then, you chat to the kids, uh, you chat to the, their mum, the, the uh, Pam, uh, you go straight to the horse's mouth, the horse being a man, the man being Bryn, or you hang out with the housekeeper. <laughs> Uh, they're phrased as get down with the kids, get dirty with their mum, got to be Bryn himself or housekeeper, I reckon. And I think it's time for a whiskey, my dear boy. <laughs> <laughs> the cigar smoke is thick in the air. Uh, well, you could just use the same glasses, probably. We, I mean, we are where we are. Or you could. Oh, no, I wouldn't normally, but the thing is, none of these are really high classes, are they? We've, <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey does defeat wine if we're playing scissors, paper, stone, pass out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Did you not say rock, paper, scissors? I have a difficult relationship with. Oh. Alex! <laughs> the guy. Lock the door, Matt. The guy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's certainly becoming a character in his own right, Alec. I don't mean in the company, I mean in life. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's four years today that he graduated from film school. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> it's bad with something else. Uh, quite, this is exciting. I love it when it's this, when it's this tight, except hardly anyone wants to see uh, the children. Fair enough. Um, Anya says only two of them said they have no intentions of murdering any. Oh, hang on, I can't see that anymore. Yes, anyone. So maybe that's a clue. Interesting. Um, the housekeeper is leading the way at the moment. The housekeeper played by Margaret wasn't you. The whiskey's in the fridge. Yeah. You, um, we've got real whiskey, but the fridge. Aren't, uh, real. And there's one bit where, depending on your answer, we will either get to drink more or less whiskey. But of course, I won't claim you. Um, because in the end, we're adults and we are allowed to have it after this finishes. But will it finish? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> children are far too keen to be guilty, says Bethan. Are they, though? Is that what they want you to think? Uh, in the, yeah, the, what is the fridge thing is complicated. Whiskey, I know the whiskey shouldn't be in the fridge. I didn't put it there. Um, but we, it's, I'll, 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 we don't have any ice. And, and it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> okay. um yeah, the kids are, uh, well, yeah, I, I, I suppose partly I, uh, I I do actually really like them, but you, we have to be neutral here about our feelings. Um, <laughs> um, you don't need ice, says Pev, it depends how you like to, I personally do like whiskey on the rocks, but you don't have to, it doesn't matter whether whiskey's <laughs> lying down in the fridge. You're allowed to have things. <laughs> I wish I had, I wish I'd not reignited that conversation, actually. The judgment I got from having it, Lying down in the fridge was unbelievable. It was lying down in the fridge. The whiskey was. Yeah. Oh well, that was. <laughs> I don't like the fridge etiquette here is mad. Some of the people <laughs> elsewhere, and obviously this one. Fucking animals, Alex. The, um, <laughs> <laughs> there are quite a few companies in this building, and not all of them, we believe, keep our high level of fridge etiquette. Shall they we stole say? my Coke Zero. Did they, or did oh one of these people? <laughs> no more whiskey <laughs> for Alex. I'm looking, um, I can... Uh, one beer. Hi, Sam, I can see Sam. Hi, there's man. Cracking hat on that person. I said hat. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> there's Alison over there in the States. Goodness me. The old USA. The old... U yeah, I said it, USA. <laughs> the old... Oh, I keep saying that, I suppose. USA. US of A. United States of America. The poll is ending. And it looks like you're going to consult the housekeeper, right? This is a this is a fun bit. Well, it's all fun, actually. Is it? Nah. Not yeah. 
it's still broadly speaking fun compared with like dentistry um <laughs> right how so this is the this is the bit where they're gonna um they're gonna choose the housekeeper so we're gonna do Okay, okay, fine. Right, this is a complex bit, and it's really silly. Uh, <laughs> but you've chosen the housekeeper, and you must you must uh, die by that sword. It's, it wasn't a bad choice necessarily. If you play your cards right here, you could get a crucial clue. But if you play your cards wrong here, uh, well, you won't. I suppose that's how. People keep entering the waiting room now. Hello, you're welcome. I'm letting them in. I'm just worried about. Hurry up! Hurry up! You're just there, like nine years old. Yeah. Um, you find the housekeeper much where she was yesterday, cooking like an absolute air fryer. You remember her words, Sue? Um, that's it. That's what, that's what you're good at. Laughing and doing weird shit on the computer. <laughs> you remember her words, you Remember this? You're welcome everywhere except the library. Um, that's one of the first things that the housekeeper said to you. You wonder what is happening behind her calm eyes, i.e. in the brain. <laughs> a bit that has worries works out how to do murders and such <laughs> building suspense. you'll know if you've watched murder things everyone is a suspect and that's the fun of it really what's for lunch you ask trying to be friendly immediately you worry you've reduced her to a mere worker a woman in a kitchen a caterer staff you overcompensate and blurt out what are your passions and are you well <laughs> <laughs> well funny you ask that says the housekeeper i'm just wondering what i'm going to cook myself if i'm honest i was going to get an acardo shop in you see but bryn has ordered me not to allow any vehicles in important maybe so I'm limited to what I've got in already. Octopus! I have Tourette syndrome, but I don't think it's going to come up again. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm thinking is, and by the way, I'm not, uh, there are most of Tourette's not is non-verbal tics. Uh, is commonly misunderstood. That, anyway, I actually know loads about Tourette's syndrome because I wrote a novel about it, which was not published. But I've still got it. Um, anyway, is it all I'm thinking is, sorry. Is it handwritten? No, no, actually, I've got. I was allowed a laptop in the end. Um, also, it will it will come out one day. All I'm thinking is we need to get some calories into people as many as we can. This is the housekeeper talking. If I know one thing about nutrition, you have to feed your way through these crises. Crises. It's almost <laughs> impossible to kill someone who's had four thousand calories that day. I might not go into them. Hammer bounces off their skull. <laughs> You're not sure how much of this is true, but you want to make the housekeeper feel she trusts and maybe fancies you. So <laughs> what have you got to work with? Maybe this is you now. Maybe we can workshop a meal together. Yes, the whiskey is Yamazaki single malt. Housekeeper. Like I said, almost nothing. Some broccoli, lentils, a bag of salad, pork medallions, corn, a machine for making bubble tea, porridge, <laughs> a couple of avocado, a can of corn, fish fingers, falafel, soup, prawns, almonds, chicken. Right, so those are your ingredients. <laughs> Now, a minute or two in the chat box to suggest a recipe based on some of those you were looking to get as many calories into the family as possible. Uh, what are you going? You can get a machine to make bubble tea. What are you going to suggest as a recipe? The more calorific but tasty a meal you devise, somehow you feel the more accurate her answers will be when you quiz her. So it's classic the company stuff. Basically, you need to work out potential meal out of those. And your success in making a meal that's both full of calories and still tastes nice will determine how much the housekeeper plays ball. You're right, the <laughs> tuna is disappointing, Sam. You've sort of gone off tuna in this version, like since the house, haven't you? Maybe, but you, when you think about how overexposed you were during the house, perhaps not surprising. Now, um, so we've got stew. Caroline says, fuck the salad. Is she right? Avocado, <laughs> bubble tea and porridge with prawns. <laughs> Bones are very low on calories. Yes, a lot of these items are surprisingly high cal and a lot of them are surprisingly low cal. And Mark did a deep dive into calories and has some thoughts, but they're not for now. Um, <laughs> but they are. I've got, I've, I've learned a lot. So I actually, yeah. Anyway, how many fish fingers are there? There's 20, Reese. I don't know. Um, there's a packet of fish fingers. There's 12. My answer is you can do a broccoli, lentil, avocado, corn, almond, chicken salad. It's not the highest calorie option. It's true. Avocados are very high calories, uh, Zoe. Somehow we need to work out four of these and stick them into the um into the yep, yep, yep. Okay, fine. Corn is low calorie, says Jody. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Let's do a kebab. Chicken, falafel, salad, avo, corn, and corn. Very good. And everything burger says cam. Yes, we haven't ruled out that you could put all of this stuff into one. <laughs> and that's in a way the root one. Um eat a bag of almonds. Zoe says Alex Horn would eat any of these. <laughs> I'm a guy who had dinner with Alex Horn 
on Friday night. And guess what he ate? Curry. Well, we all did, to be fair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> homemade curry. Breen made it. Really nice. You don't know Breen, though, so I'm not telling you, really. Uh, yes, Alex, well, I, I know that Alex is, I know, since off menu, Alex has had sort of, I say, less of a public profile, and rightly so. Um, <laughs> actually, I think everyone who's in off menu should be, like, stepped down from public service. <laughs> 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 like they shouldn't be allowed to broadcast again. Uh, you, you, I don't know whether you have the ingredients for bubble tea, Jody. I just found out that bubble tea has 450 calories in it. I don't understand why. I don't even understand bub what bubble tea Me is. Neither. I just know that everyone has it these days. My kids like it. My ex-wife likes it. Anyway, um, no gems. The reason I've not done off menu yet is a very cruelly extended. <laughs> 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 I don't even want to because I don't eat food. So, <laughs> no, Matt's not been on it either, actually. Um, how do you do that? <laughs> okay, so I think the four we're going to go for are everything burger. In other words, you put all of the ingredients in one uh, potentially disgusting, Ooh. but certainly very big meal. Live um, pole. Sorry? <laughs> Live pole. Hang on, hang on. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, I, I like the idea of, hang on, I'm scrolling up now. Um, Anna suggested Anna just a savoury a savory congee no, or porridge. porridge. Yes, mm -hmm. savoury porridge. Everything burger. Yeah. Um, what was Mayan's one? Oh, someone said stew? Hang on. No, Mayan's one was a salad, wasn't kebab. it? Like a oh, like a kebab, was it? Someone said a salad. Hang on. Can we move up to the... I can't find... We can. Can I? You want about? What are you on about? Oh, yeah, you Hang on. <laughs> Use the to coat, coat the pork, then deep fry, served on almondy lentil dal, smash up the avocados and mix with enough salad to pretend it's a salad. Right. I like peach one. <laughs> I find I'm not used to uh, an actual mouse these days because it's not the old days and I'm cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a smart mouse, it's a shit mouse. Um, yes, so everything burger. Uh, some sort of kebab, uh, smart ass thing with, by Pete, what? and <laughs> I'm looking for the fourth one. A savory porridge. Oh, the savory porridge. Yes, okay. and I think from top to bottom, it's everything burger, kebab. No, everything burger, savory porridge, kebab, uh, smart ass bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, so you're now going to you're now going to vote from the options we give you. This this is a, a unusual example of a chat box and voting hybrid uh, puzzle. I don't know what you've missed about hamsters' hair. I don't understand that comment, but maybe it's. <laughs> I certainly have against hamsters. I wouldn't exactly say an anti-hamster thing on this. I know how you feel about your hamster. You hair. don't have a mouth. You're too cool. Oh, I see. I see. It was a joke about mouses and hamsters. I suppose. Uh, okay, so Omni Burger, savoury porridge, sort of spelled like that, I suppose, in some words. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, Matt immediately gets his points back with Pete's porky plate, which is what we should have called it. <laughs> Omni Burger, excuse me, Emily, my fans are not middle aged. There are many people here under 30. <laughs> And I know that yeah. because Ooh. quite often I'm following Twitter, Five. six of you are talking, and pretty soon I've got a fucking clue what you're on about. If I, if you're here and you're on Twitter and you're younger than thirty, then at some point I've looked at your Twitter, and at some other point I've thought, oh no, I don't understand. Loads of messages here. Right? Can we have a side of onion rings with that, Chris? Yeah. Well, okay. Fine. Chris has been a loyal customer. Whatever. Whatever you uh, do, we're going to add onion rings to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. We might be at Cat and Howie, by the way, as names go. Hello to you two. I don't mind anything, actually, that I've ever that I've seen in this uh, so far. So far, a lead for Pete's Porky Play. I can't tell you anything about whether I, I shouldn't tell you. I won't tell you anything. All right, I won't actually ever tell you anything. Bex is also in black and white. Hugely impressed by that. Um, just, I'm just, I, was, I was going to say browsing your faces once again, but that's not if I'm planning to. <laughs> <laughs> you buy one of you, which I, I don't think it's that intense. Um, not really allowed to browse people, are you? Um, well, the messages are coming in as as fast as that's like a Heston Blumenthal 
menu, says Michael. If only I'd met Heston Blumenthal, Michael. Oh, hang on. I did. Hang on. I was on a Channel 4 show where Heston Blumenthal cooked a concept menu and we all had to eat it and talk about it. So that's cooler than off menu, actually. And, um, <laughs> on, on menu. On menu. <laughs> the entire antithesis. It was in 2010. I hadn't been out of the house much and it was, and he kept like making cheese into Lego and all sorts of shit. It was, uh, yes, fair question. How much do we have to weigh calorific versus tasty? Well, I would just remind you of what the housekeeper said. The more calories, the less chance of being murdered. Beyond that, uh, D.I. Darren McMahon, congratulations on your promotion, uh, D.I. says, is this going to be some peak heat shit and you have a ready-made peach porky plate under your hat? No. If I were, yes, I would remove my hat and there would be a paella or something under there. Um, if you're going to Edinburgh Fringe, I do recommend seeing peak heat because we saw it and without wanting to do any spoilers, at one point there was some fruit where there definitely shouldn't have been because it wasn't possible. <laughs> <laughs> the fruit thing was wicked well, it wasn't the best thing but it was just uh, yeah I think about it sometimes <laughs> I'm see. um George Clark on next up yes we're very pleased to be doing uh his show along with um almost <laughs> I uh <laughs> that's really just a joke for Alex I, I'm yes if you have Pete Heat tickets you won't be disappointed don't piss us off I no no one's pissed <laughs> us off no one's pissed us off um we, the closer we get to Edinburgh Fringe, the more, it's fair to say, <laughs> frenetic the atmosphere gets here. Leanne tried to uh, kill someone earlier. That's why she's not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not in the game, in, in real life. And she'd sort of meant it. Um, <laughs> uh, right, Pete's Porky Plate is going to win here, which is either very good or very bad news for you, you but you won't know for a bit. Um, and I hope this isn't too long for you. Oh, no, I think it's all right. Um... I have, the, I have tickets for the company and then at a loose end for a couple of hours for my sleeper train home. More than a couple of hours in that case, Louis. We can probably help with that. Okay, you've gone for Pete's Porky Blake. <laughs> Alex, I don't think that can keep making you laugh the same amount each time. Your, <laughs> <laughs> your sleeves... Uh, oh, hello, Holly's cat. Your sleeves are rolled up. Your flies are done up. There's oil and flour everywhere. That's right, you're cooking. And as you, I always cook with my flies up, the only thing that I do, do like that. And as you slog away at the recipe, <laughs> you ask a few very casual questions as small talk. Can you tell me if any family members had a birthday recently? <laughs> that is relevant, but you can't know why yet. because you've got about it. Who do you think is most at risk? Have you had any problems with the boy? Is there any risk someone could have slept poison into someone else's food last night? Sure enough, she tastes the food on her finger and says, I'm just working out how much of the truth to tell you based on that whole calorie exercise. I've made my <laughs> and here are my answers. <laughs> Only that she's weird, isn't she? What weird things to do? Only the gardener has had a birthday recently. Remember the gardener? We forgot about the gardener, did we? <laughs> I would say if you want to worry about one person, what does she mean? It's Pam. The boy and I get on excellently, as far as I know. No, nobody could ever poison food that I've cooked 100%. It occurs to you it would have been a great idea to pay attention to the lie detector during all that. But with all the noise of the blender and the oven and the pestle and mortar, you can't be sure whether it made a noise. Shame. Convenient, though, from a narrator's point of view. No, you don't need to. No, no, you don't need it. You don't need to. You couldn't hear the lie detector. Still can't. You really... It, yeah, it is fun, but it undermines the enterprise of a lie detector if you start dicking about with it. This is why you didn't make it in MI5. Ah, it's one of the reasons. It was that second choice. Yeah. They also said you kept videoing stuff in the office, which they don't really like there, I believe. Um, <laughs> you really are feeling pretty adult, but it's important It's important to... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the chat, and there's been some great stuff in the chat. Um, but it's important to un to the fullest extent of your abilities. You need a cool head. You need a cool box. You put them back to the garage and pick one up. Now, who to chat to next? Uh, so we're back to a choice between interviewing the kids, interviewing their mum, or going straight to Bryn. And it's time here for whiskey. Is there whiskey in the cool box? Yes, there is. And that's why we've got some now. Have you got clips? Have you been taking clips of this? What the fuck do you mean? Well, actual vibe. I just, I, yeah, but who's gonna, like, if you put this on Instagram, people are going to be like, what? No, on your phone. I filmed you. I thought you were filming, right? Did, uh, yes. Did you can't take a picture of him. He is again. <laughs> the, the guy is just sort of, he's so often there. Um, Chris asks, do we need to bring whiskey on the 21st? Don't worry about that, Chris. There'll be a full list, if you're coming in person on the 21st, a full list of what you need to bring to the company away day. 
will be issued in due course. And if you're joining on, if you're joining online, um, sorry. There's a, there's a bow tie on the floor. There is, yes. I was going to put it on, but I've already got a tie. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching online, how many people are, oh, is this is a good thing to do? Yeah, maybe. How many people are, by, by I don't know, some sort of noise, coming to the um, online? No. Hey. Who's coming to the actual church to see the company? Hey. Hey. If you're joining online, you'll be absolutely fine. You won't miss anything. It's just, yeah, it well, it well, oh, there's actually quite a few in the church. Excuse me, it's more than at least two. There's, um, well, the thing, I suppose it is, yeah, fine. You may continue. Yes, there's a couple. Well, about... 25 people said yes so far, including Chris says, I'm missing my wedding anniversary, friend. Oh, absolutely well worth it, Chris. Word to the wise, Chris. You see wedding anniversaries in a very different light once the marriage is over. It's <laughs> <laughs> my birthday as well. We didn't do much so for us this year, I must admit. Um, <laughs> I nearly did text her for a joke, but I reckon we're 20 years off that. Um, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's, it's 6 to 8 p.m. on the 21st. It was advertised as being one hour long, but you've all been around long enough to know. It won't, it won't be one hour. <laughs> you, 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 we, 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 we have full use of the venue, and you'll be lucky if any of you get home that night. Um, <laughs> We're oh, no, no, that's not bad. Some of you probably book stuff later that evening. It won't go longer than two hours, but... No. <laughs> Well, I don't know. The thing is, we're like there's rumours of the band, and then it becomes a different thing, doesn't it? Anyway, um, I Chrissy has to leave before the end for my own course. Of course, of course, but that's the price you pay, Chrissy, for developing your own artistic interests. Chelsea Young she used to come to these, and now she's doing stuff. Christ, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> well, yeah, she's working for us, I suppose. A fairly, um, <laughs> a fairly even split between um, the kids, Pam, the mum. Uh, and Bryn himself here. Interestingly, you've, you've left it quite a long time to talk to the person who is widely considered to be the possible murder suspect, maybe, or, or victim. Perhaps you see through that. Perhaps there's things you'd like to ask the children. Um, I'm just rolling my sleeves up because that's what private dicks do sometimes. Now I'm going to mop my brow. That's done. <laughs> most most <laughs> dicks should remain private, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so we're almost at the end of this now. It looks like it's going to be the kids. If it's the kids, there's going to be another bit of... Um, uh, it, well, I mean, every choice involves some dicking about. It's real ball eight trying to solve a murder. Or let alone... <laughs> <red one>. Tell you. <laughs> Alex. To wonder anyone bothers. Kill me a false moustache, will you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we're still a minute to go. Hope you're all well. This is, you've been great. I say we're about... I don't know what proportion of it we've done yet because it depends on what choices you make. No, it's more than 20% you kill, Joy. I reckon, <laughs> like, well, you're about to interview your second of the four potential. Yeah, we're halfway through, maybe more. Depends on what you do. Thank you. I, um, <laughs> in, um, I was in 12th. Is that your fluffer now? But I, um, I had to, uh, I had to wear one of these for a bottle of a, of a production of Twelfth Night and by had hay fever. It was summer and um, it was outdoor and I kept sneezing it off. So I don't think people actually believed my character. Right. <laughs> as, as, as I think the cute granddaughter is the murderer, but we'll still be voting for Bryn. Don't want to hammer down the Mark sexy dad thing too much though. But no, it's true. My dad is, is, is fair. And um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's well documented. Everyone knows it. Lou Sanders has, has been, to, like she's, Documented it too well. She, she, um, <laughs> my, my, yeah, it is what it is. When I'm 71, I'm I'm still going to be smoking, <laughs> or, or it's my, uh, dead. Um, yeah. Oh no! Don't don't phrase it like that, Louis. No, my daddy watching right now. You've got to remember that uh, some people are just hanging on by a thread. Is it? Is. Um, I am sorry. <laughs> I hated myself doing it. Look, part of the point of this is to make us all hate ourselves. We um, <laughs> can have that in no context. The kids are buzzing around the house, doing kid stuff, fighting, collecting butterflies, stealing apples, feasting on macaroons, catching smugglers. You realise you haven't read the children's books since the 1950s. Mm. <laughs> well, they're really just like people. 
How do you do, fellow kids? You say. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, you've all got a joke already. Cool. Referencing a meme about pretending to be young, which ironically they are too young to understand. I think that's the best thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Look at this, says the girl. She sure is cute. Cute and a murderer. You really like her. Like her and will be murdered by her. God, you've got to stop these thoughts coming. She gets out a little spinning disc. What do you think I'm saying? It feels urgent. You're now going to watch a very short clip of uh, the girl uh, spinning a, a disc which has, which if, if aligned correctly like a Rubik's Cube would spell out a well-known phrase. And it's going to be who in the chat box is, is the first to identify the phrase. As soon as one person's done it, they'll have won and that person will receive a promotion, which could be important for next month, even if you're not coming. So uh, see what you can do with this. If all of those are put into alignment, it, it uh, spells out a uh, phrase. If not keep calm and carry on. That was really tough, actually. You can watch it again. I'm just saying like melon. Over over. It's not melon. <laughs> I thought it was too easy, but that's because it, it's... Okay. No, oh, I know what it is. Left. Yes, Michael Steer has it. You complete me. Oh, Just yeah. ahead of Chris Jack. <laughs> Damn it. It was. It was. You complete me. Um, and uh, that puzzle was going to be more complicated, but uh, I, yeah, fine. Okay. So, Michael Steer, wherever you are, you receive a promotion. Um, but if you're not going to be in Edinburgh, then we'll also promote Chris Jack because he was second and he is coming. So, Michael, you can let us know at some point. Um, but you'll both you'll both receive a uh, promotion. Okay, well done. Mysterious thing of her to do, isn't it? Could be relevant. Might not be. I'll go back to the story. Don't worry. Every time there's a video, it requires a little bit of work. By um, well, yeah, Mark. No, hang on. who's Mark? That's 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 Mark's not. It. Mark is involved in this. It's not my fault that one of them's called Mark, one of them's called Matt, and one of them is Alex. Uh, <laughs> Matt, Matt, hi everyone. Matt in the um, yes. By the way, Artemis is not the only one to say uh, as it gets darker that it, this does get sort of a little bit more sinister. Almost as if I planned it that way, but I was <laughs> doing it at night. Um, I mean, it had to be. Imagine how much trouble we'd be in if we tried to do this in the middle of the afternoon. We'd we'd, we'd be fired, and I'm a car owner. Um, <laughs> I got away with as it is. I got away with writing a bit of this what I was meant to be I did also get it. I, I still got I got loads of work done also I'm a, I'm a remarkable specimen um, glasses had to come off so I can see properly Kat a paradox you might think you didn't plan for New Zealand the foster glasses are horrible I don't I can't believe some of you have kept them on the whole time um, Dorian of course in daytime is getting more and more into the daytime in New Zealand which is also where some of the actors in this are Dawn is beautiful here, says Anna. Where are you, Anna? I haven't quite got a handle on where you are. Um, and also, I'd like to hear whether Michael is coming to Edinburgh or not. Uh, and we'll move on with the story as Matt, once again, in screen sharing. Well done, Matt. Well done, Matt. Yes, you complete me, she says. That's how we felt about the bear, <laughs> says the boy, who's behind you suddenly for some reason. So this bear, I wrote him a love letter, interrupts the girl. So that's what you found. You might remember the letter that said, I love you over and over again. It was signed. Uh, M, I think. But speaking of notes, you say, I don't suppose you know anything about, you just, you're really getting to the meat of some of the clues from last time now. You describe the strange document you found in the library. Perfect murder plan. Oh, that, says the boy. Yeah, that's mum. She's in a film club. The perfect murder is a film they watch and she took notes, said the girl. Uh, she meant to write plot, not plan, but she always gets muddled with pl words. Stupid old mum. <laughs> each other. This seems to be going well, and the lie detector has been quiet. So I have a few more questions. So are you an actual detective? They both course at the same time. Well, I, how much money do you get? It's tricky, this. Not a conversation you'd expect to have with, with anyone. You were brought up properly. Never mention money, religion, butt plugs. But <laughs> you're a big, important adult. Now, what is your salary again? You have a vague idea you've seen it spelt out somewhere today, but it's not exactly been the easiest day. You could just make something up. You could also have a good old week, your monthly opportunity to do this. You've earned it. Your options are £100,000, £156,204, £6 billion, or you may just break down in tears. It's time to vote. Yeah. 
Piers. Open maths at the beginning again, asked Camilla. Piers already done some, uh, I think the phrase is <laughs> German is. Yeah. Do you know the right answer, but what's the more fun answer? That's the thing, you don't always have to go with the right answer, uh, but you should. Cry is always <laughs> fun answer. Right, Michael is going to be somewhere between Madrid and Bill Bag. Maybe the only one I miss online, too. This is actually quite typical of my how career has gone. I see. So Michael has spent his career getting promotions, which he cannot actually uh, claim because he's in your friend of mine, the sky in Spain. Um, <laughs> Dorian says 156,204 is the answer to the sums from the music video. A word on Dorian at this point. For a guy with, and I'm not being rude, a dog in his lap. <laughs> you know, just a fucking lot of stuff. Every now and again, Dorian puts something in the chat box and it makes my blood run cold because he's ahead of us. It, 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 Dorian, uh, it, uh, I don't like the idea that you cried at work already today, Zoe. I don't want to, like, firstly, I'll text you after this. Secondly, I don't walk into a chemist and someone's blubbing all over the antihistamines. You might be an actor. Oh, it's right? just allergies. Oh, yeah, I suppose, I suppose so, yeah. It um, might be a job to cry. She's not an actor. I know Zoe. She works in a pharmacy. Um, or is she so deep in the role? It, it may have, yeah, it may be the whole time I've known her, she's been an actor playing the part of the pharmacist, I suppose. Um, what are you, I wonder what Michael's up to flying between. Anyway, yeah, what I was going to say was, and this isn't the first time, this is by far, this is by no means the first time Dorian has, is, is like, Dorian is, is a, is a, to be fair to him, I, I think the phrase Tim Key would use here is an absolute gel, but he'd use it admiring. <laughs> oh, Michael's in a... Sorry, I don't know why I assumed you were flying, Michael, when it's uh, better for the planet to do it by coach. And also, at least one person is always on a coach during these things normally. Um, <laughs> I, I'm doing most of the country. Listen to old Michael. One minute he gets a promotion <laughs> for solving a puzzle, the next minute he's... Um, by the way, uh, I've got... I bought a box of six of those... Um, circular like funny disc things with things on because they look good for puzzles so you'll get another one of those don't you worry about that um one minute left and it looks like most of you or at least enough of you are confident that uh, the the very accurate figure was spelt out in the sum which appeared in the video to the song sinister by mark watson and matt riot except that's definitely the wrong way around <laughs> um <laughs> I did do the words this time, but Matt did an incredible job. Anyway, yes, this is the correct answer. And there was also going to be a clue where you saw in a newspaper that everyone's salary is reversed these days and you have to do it in your head. But you didn't even need that clue. But if you'd had that clue, i tell you who would have seen it. Oh, Dorian. Bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> Warrior more like, like prior. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes you get one right because a couple of people are just very vocal and very confident and they're right and everyone follows suit. But then sometimes someone gets it wrong in the chat box and I see you all sort of flock to agree like sardines. <laughs> so, you know. So, what will happen once you've quoted your correct salary? I think you might be rewarded with another clue. But how useful will the clue be? It depends, doesn't it? My, my eyes are massive. It is, but my eyes have really big eyes already. Which I have passed on to my daughter. Now, um... <laughs> I mean, not on purpose. You, you, you don't control the genetics. Um, Artemis says, I'm too tired to think. Are you? Are you really? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yes, it's half past nine. Uh, where have you been challenged on that? If, if you're, uh, if you're, again, if you're in, um, well, I suppose if you're in the United States, it's the middle of the afternoon, depending on which uh, coast. If you're in Australia, New Zealand, as we've said, it's the morning. And if a, a few of you are in what we call funny countries, and it could be any time. But, um, Lex, it's 4 a.m. It's, yeah, tough, but it's much creepier that way. In a way, we could all do them in the middle of the night, always, but it's simply not possible because we're all in different places. That seems like it's a real amount, says the boy. Well done. You wouldn't make that up. Okay, so detective, our granddad is thinking of doing a kill. <laughs> but they've run off after a dog or something before you can get more. Oh, the next tweet shouldn't be there. That's if you fucked it up. I've, that's, that's my mistake. I've done it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> The Dorian stock they're running after. We, uh, we, we skip to the next bit, yes. Well, they said a fair bit. You reach around for your lie detector and it's been switched off. Fuck. So you can't tell whether anything they said is worth a brush shit. It reminds you of something else. What? God, you're tired. 
you're too tired to think. There you go. That's who you are. <laughs> but still, you press on. So you have two potential people you can talk to now, either the mum, Pam, or Bryn himself, the man of the house. And Mayan says, it's the first time it's not absolutely horrifyingly late for me. Yeah, thanks, man. I hope you're having a nice time in London. I know you had some accommodation problems, uh, but they seem to have been resolved. Um, yes. Hey. Sorry? I met Mayan at John Lee. I met, we've all met Mayan, if that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, really nice. Enjoyed it. Oh, I've met him before. I started... Oh, John Luke. I've met John Luke loads of times because I'm producing him, duh. Um, yes, <laughs> London's not really strong. Yes, uh, she rightly says, or they rightly say, I never remember your pronouns, man. We've got the lie detector from under the rug, and so far it's been absolutely useless. Yeah, the lie detector's been a bit of a bust so far, not least because the most useful bit of it we have the videos in the wrong order but there are it's still it could still come into play depending on you've missed one important bit as well not through any fault of your own just because of the way this game works oh yeah i mean the, the main thing about the light is alex is really happy about it um <laughs> uh, so it's now down down to the mum versus uh Bryn, the um and um where do we sign up to meet man well one thing you can do is go to edinburgh between very specific dates because she, <laughs> she's coming um, she's in London now for a while, I think. It's not so much a case of signing up, but more a case of coming to London and walking around to one of the people you bump into with man, I suppose. <laughs> Camille says, can't believe it's the third time I've uh, kicked on doing a mum. Yeah, there's been, uh, there's been um, <laughs> considering the group we are, there's been less support for uh, mum stuff than, than perhaps one normally expects here. Um, <laughs> but it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult being a sleuth. You want to talk to all the relevant people, but you, you don't. You don't know. Like, that's my plans for my day in London tomorrow. Sorted. My word. If Artemis ends up meeting man purely because of this bullshit, I'm going to be really <laughs> proud. Unless they don't get on, in which case I'll be really ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> um, or yeah, maybe you meant doing a mum. In which case, well, my mum isn't in London, so we're fine. I can. I, I can point you to some um, some really good ones. <laughs> we always end up here or adjacent to here don't we cheers um, it looks like it's going to be but it doesn't it sort of doesn't matter which one you do here because you've got to talk to them both but once you have you're getting quite close to the nub of the matter when there's not actually that long to go hopefully i think actually lengthwise this has been i don't know it's on the mums it's on the on the mum side it's on the long side um I'll tell you now however it ends whichever of the endings you end up with you're going to have some unresolved some questions, some worries. You'll be upset. You'll 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 be sad. Um, so there'll there'll be a sort of uh, there'll be a brief bit of stuff on Twitter where we we look at some people's questions, but also some of the things that make that might not make sense until the next episode. So it's a story. We're building a story here. You are lucky we so that we can ring them. <laughs> I expect someone is dying around now, as we found it. No, Bethany, no one is dying yet. But they're, they're, you're right to be worried about floundering. You could kill someone if you flounder at the wrong time in about, I reckon, mm -hmm. 15 minutes time. Thanks for the MILF community representation. Chrissy, it's a pleasure. <laughs> I'm speaking to you across the fence as a well-known DILF. And <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you see people talking about me and it's like, what do you love or fancy the most about? And the answer is always, I love the way he... he involves his children in stuff that they probably shouldn't be in <laughs> <laughs> makes them act in stuff that they don't fully understand <laughs> i'm serving chef all right <laughs> <laughs> playing serving cunt and a good thing too <laughs> <laughs> peculiar period of life that was <laughs> I've got a really cute picture of my daughter holding up the finished you complete me thing as well. I might tweet that out, but my ex might not like that, but I think it's fine. Because let's face it, Kit's got a TikTok now, so we're all dead. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> very on Instagram. Very, very tight, but you've narrowly voted to, and I use the phrase, get dirty with their mum. <laughs> right. Important bit here. Well, it's all important, or it's all trivial. Depends on what, how you think, <laughs> what you think of our place in the universe. Bryn's daughter, Pam, the mother of the two kids, kept a low profile yesterday. You don't like someone who's too quiet any more than you like things which aren't as they seem. That should be all times when there's more than meets the eye. But you know what you're doing with mums, you think. You've, <laughs> you've been known to... <laughs> 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 as a midwife. 
you have opinions on the placement of the apostrophe in Mother's Day. I don't think we have time for that. But don't you worry. We'll do that. <laughs> it shouldn't be there. And yet, if you Google it, it mostly is. This will be fine. Right, there's only one mother in the world, is there? Christ almighty. You clear your throat discreetly, <laughs> then more loudly, then say, hey, up! then give her nose a big old tweak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you care to walk, take a walk around the grounds for no particular reason? He suggests win winningly. <laughs> that would be lovely, she says at once, almost as if she has something she needs to tell you. you she leads you out past the knife larder, which you've never investigated, you're not going to either, <laughs> through the conservatory and out to where the bins are. <laughs> oh, bitch, she says, lifting the lid of the recycling bin in what seems a pointed gesture, but pointed at what? Inside, you can see a large number of birthday cards and sheets of crumpled wrapping paper. Y yes, you agree? Or the recycling is not technically garbage, is it? As you're walking through the creepy ass graveyard, remember this from last time, <laughs> you decide to risk a meaningful ass question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, from the, from the gardener's birthday, possibly. Who knows? Who knows what is happening? Do you, I've started to uh, do things with my hands like Jarvis Cocker, understandably, because there's only a couple of weeks <laughs> I was watching him. Do you feel like the atmosphere in the house has been strange? I know you said you don't feel at risk, but do you think anyone is? Of course, she asked you to protect them earlier, like last episode. She looks at you and says something which sounds, once again, in some way coded or cryptic. Uh, this is going to be a video, a very brief video. Bethan says, oh, you don't put your bins near the conservatory. The smell. I know, Bethan. These people, more money than cents. <laughs> yes, some people didn't say anyone. Zoe's been very emphatic about that. <laughs> Things have been difficult since I had my illness. Bryn has had to look after the kids a lot. Things have been difficult since I had my illness. Bryn has had to look after the kids a lot. A bit odd that she describes her own father by his first name. Anyway. Um, well, now we go back to it. Someone's got a police station backdrop back now, which I'm like 10,000 miles away from. Oh, it's the same guy who had the, you've done some cracking backdrop work, Detective Garb, if that is your real name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's referred to her illness in a way that implies you should know about it. But the lie detector, oh, you didn't hear this, the lie detector went off. Alex, can we have the lie detector, please? When she said, I, I've had my illness and Bryn's looking after my children, a lie detector went off. <laughs> I thought, gonna, I thought it was switched that. off. It's back on. <laughs> <laughs> it, only, it was switched off while you were with the kids. The kids switched it off. We have to surmise. There we go. Fine. Oh, it's going. Um, uh, is that calling you a liar? No, it's, call, it's calling her a liar. Uh. Um, Potentially. <laughs> the wording's important. The wording's important. All she said was, things have been difficult since I had my illness. Bryn has had to look after the children quite a lot. I wish I, I, that's enough. Um, <laughs> but the lie detector went off. What are you meant to make of that? You wonder if you can guess the illness. That might help us get to the bottom of it. Um, so, uh, has she had MRSA, rabies, the shits, or anxiety, like all of us? They're the four main illnesses. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I should have given Alex the lie detector, but we are where we are. <laughs> Does she have an illness or is that what tripped the lie detector? Chrissy, there's no option to vote for rabies like all of us, but if you think everyone here has rabies, then uh, you, uh, you can find a way of getting to vote for that. I, I suppose we may as well because I don't want to make people uncomfortable. I think, is it a case of hands up if you've got rabies? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think it's really unusual. I believe it's really unusual. <clears throat> it, it also kills you. By the way, uh, fatal. Great bit of chat here. Well, yeah, by, I, know, I know it's fatal. I'm actually trivialising rabies here, and I'll feel really bad if any of you dies of it. Um, <laughs> someone says, conservatories are interesting, and someone else says, I've been in one, just a sh uh, what was it, a hot shit room. <laughs> 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 Is there the option they aren't her kids, says Taylor. Interesting. There was a toilet in the crypt, wasn't there? Interesting. How many comedy shows trivialise rabies? Yeah, but I'm a truth teller. Uh, <laughs> Are you? Rabies was the mystery illness in an episode of House. I don't think I saw that. I have seen House, but I'll tell you what I thought about House. That guy, bloody hell. You think we don't play by the rules? That guy was a shit dog. <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> it's all very well not playing by the rules if you're a doctor, but three or four years in, House's colleagues must have been like, Jesus Christ, mate. Now and again, just use an <laughs> anaesthetic or something. <laughs> He was always just 
He was a bad team player. I don't care how brilliant the doctor you are. Try to fit in with your workmates. Look at Alex. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've only seen clips and that guy should so be in prison. But because he had a lucky run of solving crimes, solve, like, and, and making people well, and, and Hugh Laurie acted him very well. And he's not the only one. There's been, a, like, of course, a whole genre of TV. Doctors that don't play by the rules. Detectives that don't play by the rules. Just now and again, I'd like to see someone play by the rules. Hmm? <laughs> it was called House after Sherlock Holmes. And he lived, at, mm-hmm. he lived at 221B. If that's true... I'm it gonna, is. Uh, excuse me. If that's true... <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, excuse me. If that's true, I'm it interested. Is. Yeah. I, well, according to the chat box, it's either a very big if or a very small if. It can't be all... It can't be all Regular it's sized all, if. It could be an if of indeterminate size if it is an if composed of quantum particles, but we, I don't think we have time. <laughs> about every year I read a book about quantum physics because I'm, I'm not only am fascinated by it, but I think it holds the key to another idea I have for a piece of work. But I, I always get to page 50, and then there's a bit where it says, imagine an orange, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> There's my drama about comedy producers that don't play by the rules, huh? <laughs> right, we're nearly there. And it looks like you're going to go, of course you're going to go for anxiety. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was almost inconceivable you wouldn't vote for anxiety, which is not, well, let's see. Hmm? There was a right answer in that. Uh, what do you mean John Watson equals James Wilson? Was the whole of House just... Fucking Dr. Co- Sherlock. Dr. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. 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 That's it. I'm taking my hat. That's gone. That's gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hat. Man, man. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Next, you'll tell me other pieces of art refer to pieces of art. What? <laughs> no. Everything is Shakespeare. I hope not. I'll be furious. <laughs> Eloise says, I'm feeling pretty dim as someone who's watched most of House at least twice. At least, yeah, I'm not as thick as Eloise. Right. Um, the Lion King is Hamlet, says Zoe. Oh, I did see. I got that one, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, his dad dies, and it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> what? Anxiety is the bloody <laughs> word, I say, shaking your head vigorously. You reach out to squeeze her elbow, but she withdraws. It's bad news when a lady withholds the elbow. You're worried you've got this one wrong. Hmm. Who, if you had to guess, you try to ask, but she's gesturing at the gravestones. Here today, gone so soon. Life is such a little thing. The world is not enough, but it is. Is she actually propositioning you? She's not, of course, it's the song lyrics. You don't feel as if you can get into that situation. It was sticky enough when you screwed up with Camilla and somehow upset Francine at the same time. You're a shambles. Sorry. You try again to fish some information out of Pam, pluck it out of her like a trout out of a trout place. What can you tell me about who is threatening Bryn? And, and what should we all be doing? And any other stuff to chat about? Right. In you come. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do about the danger. Yeah, more. I just want my. Let me read the lines. I just want things to be safe, really. I'm not completely sure why your lie detector keeps going off. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> 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 Something pretty odd about Pam. She's talking. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. Don't. Uh, we need to not see the next tweet. We need to not see the next tweet. <laughs> not <It's like, laughs> Something's pretty odd about Pam. Full disclosure. I'm sweaty. She's talking. My shirt. Sure. <laughs> she's talking in riddles kit. She's talking in riddles, and she seems to be telling an awful lot of lies. And you're starting to get a strange feeling. Of what might be up? You're going to work out. Uh, work it out in the chat box and raise it. Why is Pam being weird? Why is Pam uh, talking strangely and seems distant and refers to an illness? What's different about Pam? What's um, who has Pam swapped identities with? Who indeed? It's not need to poop, Camille, but good effort. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Shapeshifter, we're getting close. Evil twin is very close, uh, Louise. I need an exact explanation for Pam's 
uh, elusive behavior in the chat box before we can move on. Good twin, not quite. Pam is Matt backwards. He's not a doppelganger. Hmm. Is Matt backwards. Oh, Matt. Correct, it's not Pam. We can stop it there. <laughs> She's pissed, could also have been oh. there. <laughs> Pam, anagram of map, X marks the spot on the map, simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see the map. <laughs> Move on. So the kids aren't her kids, asked Taylor. Taylor was big into that idea in the first place. No kids are her kids, no. Ghost was a shout, actually, yeah. All sorts going on here. Yes, that's right. The reason she doesn't seem quite herself is that she isn't herself because uh, the video you saw and the video you saw of her at the start uh, was not the original Pam. It was uh, the uh, the other of my identical twin sisters. Um, <laughs> do you mean how many have I got? Have you <laughs> yeah, but three is just a baker's twin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> Parents didn't have baker's twins. No. <laughs> yes, that's right. The reason she doesn't quite seem herself is that she isn't herself. You take a breath. Pam, would it be true to say you're not actually Pam because you swapped places with your twin sister in the night? How dare you? She squeals. I would never dream of parachuting in for Pam because Pam is a suspect or possible victim in an incoming <laughs> murder. <laughs> you do the noise, please. <laughs> You're wrong if you think I'm going to flee for the house. Another buzz. Oh. They put on another tweet. <laughs> With that, she's gone in a blur of limbs and underwear, sprinting back towards the Thompson house. My twin sisters don't even look that similar these days, but she was brief to try and look like I'm. You couldn't be more confused if your dick was on your knee. What on earth are you meant to think? <laughs> yeah, I guess again. Yeah. Me. Right now, obviously, you're going to see Bryn because there's no one left. You knock on the door of the library. Bryn Thompson gives a sort of impatient snort to say, come in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? He asks. You pause. Well, be happy, I guess, like anyone. But what do you want with me? Bryn's reading an old-school Sunday newspaper. He's wearing a bandana, which you're pretty sure was stolen from an art gallery. The headline on the paper makes your palms go a bit clammy. Look at that. Well, uh-oh. Death <laughs> happened here today. Uh, there's some other interesting stuff, potentially. <laughs> <Just a> bit, <laughs> yeah. There's your clue about the salaries, which you didn't need because you got it anyway. <laughs> right, also good news for people that like Francine and Camilla. <laughs> Hmm. Mark's lovely dad. No, of course, my actual dad wouldn't talk to you like that. My dad's a very courteous man who rarely swears, but Pear Fluorescent, I'm not sure you ever will hook up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is going strong. Um, I guess we can do, we all can do. Um, Don't worry about international moose count. That's something, yeah, else. Oh. It's something else. It's something else. What's up? Oh, yes, the crossword. Wretched thing. One clue to get, but honestly, bug him in the eyes if I can get it. He pushes mm -hmm. the paper at you. Can you help? <laughs> Stupid bloody idea. All these gaps you have to put letters in. So no clues, <laughs> just as bad. Can't stand riddles either. Or adventures, masks, presents <laughs> being wrapped, people covering up with clothes. He puts his own <laughs> You feel like, Zoe says, the gardener is a cancer with his recent birthday. The gardener is a her, actually, but very good, Zoe. Could be important. Uh, the gardener was a, uh, a ginger-haired lady who tried to uh, deny you access to the orchard. Um, no, you don't need to. Um, it's fine, Joe. You've done really well. <laughs> you screw up your eyes, but there's no Ooh. need to print his normal size. Here's the crossword clue. Removing insult. Can we stop saying choked by a ginger, please? I'm feeling... <laughs> 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 I'm taking my, taking my tie off. You did this. <laughs> You're right. Just, I'm sorry. Removing insult only ramps up tensions. Eight. It would help if you could see the other words, but ants are. <laughs> put the video away. <laughs> ants are covering literally every other square. Damn. Removing insult only ramps up tensions. Eight. Is it war times? Armament? Conflict? Yeah. Or, strangely, elephant. And you solve the crossword clue. 
Mm. Maybe have a look through your magnifying glass if you've got one. Maybe <laughs> use a stethoscope if you're a doctor. Maybe use uh, whatever zookeepers have if you're a zookeeper. Alex, is that you? <laughs> oh, no. Get off the <laughs> That's gone for a week. You don't. You get, you, you don't <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Are you looking, are you looking at direct messages? Fucking. Can't see anything in that prison. <laughs> there can be. If that was my Twitter DMs, you would now all learn about a maniac who is stalking me. Oh um, Jesus! He's no. behind you. It's absolutely fine. I've dealt with them. <laughs> <laughs> My Twitter DMs are a terrible place. I don't go there. Every um, oh, man. It's fine. It's fine. It's not exactly stalking, but it is. It's, it's also not. I've been. Oh, don't worry. I, I literally have had worse. Someone in 2010, I had an enormous stalker problem. Now, um, it was fine. It's actually not as expensive as you think a hit, man. You'll know this if you listen to it. <laughs> 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 this cigar's going on for ages. Um, right, uh, I can't see the <laughs> the votes. War times, armament, conflict, or he's he's in your seat, dicking about with your Twitter. Oh well, I lost it. <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> Why are we looking at weeds? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to remove weeds quickly. Downloaded. Four point seven out of five. You're getting less than four point seven out of five. Thank you. Brilliant. No, no, no. None of you is. The app we could each bring a plant that's looking sick and hold it up on Zoom, and you could diagnose it like cows. I'd absolutely <laughs> love to diagnose plants. I don't have enough going on in my career. We've got a plant. <laughs> I have to point to that. None of you are stalking me. If you're on this call, you are not in the category of people that that, are, that I'm worried about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should be big yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Concentrate. Someone could be murdered in a minute. You guys are all just wanging about. Um, <laughs> oh, look at this. Look how tight this is. A minute to go. War times from conflict, from armament with elephants in fourth place. If you don't get this right, wow. Well, wow. And you, you, you're, you're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm chain smoking here. Yeah, not it's not a prop comment, no. I, I don't think I said there was a prop comment. Have we got a prop comment, I suppose, John Luke, sort of? Julia, Julia. Yeah. Is there an elephant in the room? This is very tight, but it's going to be war times just about from conflict. The answer was armament, because if you remove, Ooh. removing insult, a dis, disarmament, removing, oh. removing dis from disarmament, oh, yeah. and it wraps up tensions, because armament means, you know, uh, building up. Uh, weapons. Oh. I made that up. I didn't get that from a website. I made it up. I set a crossword clue. He's starting to ask, what can't this guy do? Well, <laughs> eat baby bells and drive. What are you, Dave Coleman? <laughs> <laughs> well, can you not dismantle the baby bell? Or you just not no, I just can't. I can't eat baby bell. It's, 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 it, it, it's the, I, I had to try and eat one during a 24-hour show for 100 quid, and I did do it. It was a charity, but I um, like he baby bells are, are proper they're not even cheese they're they they are they're not even a thing you know, yes you let's have a look at official tim wood can we scroll up please yeah Matt. <laughs> uh, basically uh, <laughs> yeah this is an insult disarmament remove this equals armor well done official tim wood unless you said that after i um <laughs> <laughs> stacy was just a sort of weird guy that repeats things either way everything's fine <laughs> I think he's been a bit weird tonight. It's been a fun old evening, I think. Good. Okay, on we go. Is that what people do? I don't know. I have had a cigar, and it was all right. Oh, in the end, conflict one. Okay, doesn't matter. You're gonna you're gonna have a uh, showdown with um, Bryn now, I think.
hope you're still all, all with us. It doesn't matter if you've lost the plot because most of the clips <laughs> weren't that helpful anyway. And also two of them didn't really work out. Oh, hang on. No, he wants you to have a go again. I've already told you the answer. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this. But there's no point in doing it again. I'll read it, though. Bryn makes a noise like air escaping from a balloon. For the love of... Balloons are bad as well, by the way, but I think I've been clear on that. For the love of God, he mutters. What sort of moron... It seems harsh. He couldn't get it. Um, can we skip to the... Yeah, we're skipping. We're skip. <laughs> That's more and more like a real detective. <laughs> Matt is basically in truth. Yes, this elephant. Um, yeah, you can, you're fine. You're fine. You're going to... Um, Although, actually, if you hadn't got it, you, I, I, all right. I've realised a way that we could have done this differently, and it would have been better plot wise, but it doesn't seem matter. Fuck the plot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the plot, but also, like, I don't know, kiss the plot. As in, treat it with respect, but don't overcommit. <laughs> Gently cuddle the plot. The yeah, plot. just take the, take the plot out oh, and have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Pill. <laughs> Throw some things you like into the conversation with the plot. And hope it says them back. It's a coincidence. Why am I buttoning some of my shirts? <laughs> Look, who's got the full Monty theme? <laughs> If this ends with me, Matt, and Alex all getting naked, I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but not surprised. <laughs> but he, was trying, he was trying to put the yes behind the light detector. Cool. <laughs> but if we remove the disc... Michael's lost the plot. The main, the main thing you need to remember, Michael, is you're going from Madrid to Bilbao. You're doing most of Spain. You're all right, Michael. If I'm you, I'm not worried about who's doing a murder or who's getting murdered. I'm just smothering myself in olive oil. I'm off to Spain faster than you can say knife. I'm, a, I'm at a, no. I'm at a bullfight. I'm not a bullfight. It's just the epic. Are we? Yes. Yep. Let's go. Well, I'm. Yeah, armament. You knew it was that somehow. You lick your lips with the satisfaction. <laughs> Removing insult, dis from the word disarmament only ramps up tensions because armament means building stock. Fine. You go to high five, Bryn. But he takes his hand away. He's not even into a low five. He spits almost 30 metres into a spittoon. <laughs> the word seems to be choking him almost. He's quivering with anger. He points the wrong hand. He points a finger at you. It's so long, the finger. You could hang out your washing on it. You could fish with it. <laughs> Who sent you? Let me guess. That mysterious, remember? That mysterious stranger who prowls the grounds. I knew it was a mistake to hire him. Loads of plot here, but it's, all of us don't care anymore. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Not don't care anymore. It's, there's, there's been so much stuff in there. Armin, oh, he hisses again. Oh, of course. Of course, Thompson is always the bad guy. You invest in one bad Bond movie, you lose three million pounds. You have to sell a few arms to the Russians to claw it back. It goes quiet. <laughs> I've probably said too much about my terrible past arms dealing. Grin matters. Some of the heat now gone from his voice. I'm sorry. Can I trust you? You can, you say. My job is to prevent a murder. That's why I'm here. I snapped at you because I was annoyed about not managing to finish the crossword on my own. I'm the same with the bloody noughts and crosses. Remember when he was yelling at his daughter for always beating the noughts and crosses? Oof, we're getting revealed. I took six on the Wordle last week and smacked the postman. It's toxic. Is <laughs> that a euphemism? You get that. <laughs> I want to try. I got it in two this morning. Unfucking believable. I, I got sat, two as well. Ooh. But first, guess a full set of blanks and then a full set of greens. First thing he does when I come in the office is just oh. brags about the word. It wasn't a brag. He just <laughs> on the back. Alex, it was the best moment of my life. <laughs> the truth is, so like to go from a set of blanks to a set of greens. I want to trust you, he says. The truth is, I'm seriously afraid. Stay in your lane, Alex. I'm glad you're here. It's just difficult to trust anyone not to give me the old stabby treatment, if I may use that. <laughs> Thank God there's a detective here. You have a faint qualm in your guts, just the top bit of your lower intestine there, because you're not a real sleuth. You don't know what you are. You push it away. Bryn is pouring two glasses of whiskey. Care for a drop? 
you weren't expecting this. It's very early for a drink, or slightly early, or about right, depending on when you chose to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> your work is impressive, isn't it? How the narrative twists and moulds itself to your choices. Your worry is it could make you lightheaded, but you also don't want to irk him again. What's your move, big guy? As often, the possibilities dance before you in your mind. You could take a nice drink. You could just stand and think. Pull the lot down the sink. Or describe the 2001 Pixar hit, Monster. <laughs> Banger of a film. <laughs> Milo says, I hate to say it, but Monsters Inc. hits different. Now, I see people say this Fact. quite a lot, and I assume it just means it has a, like, it has a particularly strong effect on me, or like, yeah. that's what hit, right? Yeah. So why does Milo think Monsters Inc. hits different? I'm interested in this, Milo. Because it's a fucking incredible film. Oh, it's a good film. Yeah. Good yeah. or great? I. <laughs> I have my opinions in, in terms of where it sits on Pixar's... But look, I have loads of opinions. We all have opinions. I, of course. I mean, I, well, yeah. But mm, Up, I watched in a particular frame of mind. All right. Oh, I've seen it twice. No, obviously Up is like gold tier Pixar. But What's top tier? Top tier. Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4, all whoa, the future whoa, whoa. all the future <laughs> Toy Story, <laughs> everything. That's, awesome. that's one Toy Story too many. <laughs> also, I haven't finished speaking, Alex. Wow. That's not the whole of the top tier. You have to mix it up. You can't just say Toy Story. Off you go. He's in a swivel chair, so he's actually quite trying to swivel. Um, <laughs> uh, Inside Out, I thought was very good, but not, no. not, not quite as good as a lot of other people thought. Um... No, Toy Story 4 can't get in the bin, Zoe, and I'm going to come to your camera. Toy Story 4, like, okay. <laughs> right. Like, right, let's get into it. Everyone acted like, like, like Toy Story 4 was some sort of piece of shit. That it, some ball. No, it doesn't. It was good. It's not as good it's as not. the first three. Does that mean we throw it away? I don't think so. No, but you don't put it above Inside Out. You don't it top tier. Well, top <laughs> you do, because anything that has Toy Story on it, gold get tier. Out of the way. Anything that is Toy Story is intrinsically, like, is, is top tier. Is, it, is Toy Story 4 better than Inside Out? No. But is any Toy Story movie, is it, like, important? Yes. Is Inside Out very good? Yes. Did it steal its premise from an 80s comic? Yes. Does that matter? No. <laughs> All right. Them skulls. I, I just don't agree that Toy Story 4 doesn't belong in the Toy <laughs> Story canon. I do agree it's the fourth best, but you're still looking at very, very high-level filmmaking. All right. Carmela hasn't seen a t single Toy Story movie. Right, Carmela, log off from this wow. now. <laughs> Watch the four of them. It'll take you until, like, I don't know, six in the morning where we are. And... Uh, it's not like being the fourth best Jaws, because there's only one <laughs> Jaws Jaws. Jaws should never have had a sequel. The, the, the Toy Story 4 is, we can talk about it, right? And also, we're going to go for Describe Monsters, Inc. here, which is a total left <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <dear. laughs> um, Who's seen Elemental? I haven't seen it yet. No. Excuse me, not fuck that. What's the matter with you? They're spending too much on it. They're spending too much on it? Yeah. You've still, you're, you're still meant to see movies. Okay, Zoe says it's not really good. But Zoe, okay, fine. They, no, they didn't all die in the end of Toy Story 3 because, fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Chris, I will not be saying Monsters University is the fifth best Toy Story film. <laughs> you're going to hear my opinions on Monsters University through Bryn. So, actually, let's all just calm down and listen to Hazel. Cam, Toy Story 4 is not canon. Like, listen, fine. Right, Toy Story 3 is as good as OK Computer by Radiohead. Toy Story 3 is one of the 10 most valuable pieces of art, go away, that we've ever had. But it doesn't mean that Toy Story 4 isn't valuable. We, 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 let's not, shut up. Let's not let the good be the enemy of the perfect. All right. No, you know what I mean. Toy Story 4 is still good, I think. It's fine. Anyway. It's I, Kingdom I, of the Crystal I, Skull. Okay. It's not worth it. Oh. <laughs> this is not the hill I expect you to die on, Mark, says Zoe. <laughs> what, I don't want to die on a hill at all. I want to die on the flat. <laughs> I've made mad. I'm so cool. And I'm a drummer. 
<laughs> Monsters Inc. You've gone to Monsters Inc. Fucking weird. Monsters Inc. You begin. It's sort of a fantasy pop as in you begin. <laughs> the atmosphere in here now is unusual, I would say. The premise, <laughs> the premise that you would imagine, is that monsters are part of sort of public sector industry, which scares kids. You know, I've seen monsters in twice, by the way, once with my children. The um, more time. Their screams. When we meet our, no, when we meet our, I've got medals because I've run a half marathon. <laughs> when we meet our two protagonists, <laughs> and actually ran a marathon in Germany, so. What on earth? Oh, sorry. Fuck that. Because of him. Why on earth are you talking about this wind thunder? <laughs> you imagine I haven't seen Monsters Inc. and the slightly undercooked prequel. Um, I didn't think Monsters University was bad. I just thought that, that it was very low stakes because you already knew what was going to happen to them. A problem I have with a lot of prequels. Do you think I wasn't part of a funding application for a third movie, Monsters Inc., in which Robin is <laughs> and it's quite strange reason? For that moment, I'm glad you did this. I've been funding films since you were a fetus. Have you heard of Sinister? Yes, many of you spotted. Uh, he had a producer credit on the Sinister poster. There's been actually loads of texture to this. It's not just three men doing weird, like going mad in a room. In an office. Actually, none of my work has been three men going mad in a room. He seems to have been on this film almost straight away. Go away, he says, waving, and I must emphasize a right hand at you. I don't know what you want. But I do know I'm not scared of that housekeeper, whatever you might think. This is a modern thing where you put a, a full stop after everything. <laughs> dong, 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 and so on. Hang on, no, some more. Dong! <laughs> it sends chills through you. The toll of the bell. Whom is it tolling for? This is an example of where whom is actually a hindrance grammatically because it just looks wrong. You feel dizzy, frightened, oh. horny as usual. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. I, I, I still like you. You never ask for this. You aren't Miss Marple or clever Clive Clue Man, the detective who caught naughty Nick Knife that time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Alex has got a bell sound effect. Fine, I don't care. <laughs> That's a dong. It wasn't very audible. Silent dong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know it is. Well, it's, you say that that should be for whom it is tolling, but in my opinion, it is. There is no. We haven't. We haven't got time to talk about <laughs> how I feel about grammar or actually anything. We should have even got onto Pixar. Just give my hat back. Right? Um, you never claim to be able to solve crimes. You're just a former cheese factory goon. You don't know anything about detection. You live on your own. Your toilet's outdoors. You eat yams for breakfast. And you once masturbated to Titanic, but not even on the bits anyone would get. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. The dong dong was just the housekeeper with a dinner bell. The, Come and eat, she yells. Eat up. Get your noses in the bag. Uh, my dad used to occasionally shout nose bags when it was time for dinner. My mum didn't like it, and <laughs> she stopped him doing it. <laughs> eat nose in the bag. Fill your innards. Eat. She chants. Eat, eat, eat. She comes out into the hall with a ladle. Oh. Everyone in the story <laughs> is in the hall. For smooth storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> You sometimes get that in, in, like, when you see murder mysteries on the TV, don't they? They say things like, oh, everyone who could have done it is here. Um, <laughs> and you, right, important bit. And you suddenly feel an overwhelming conviction that you have to stop one of them. That if one of them gets into the kitchen, all will be lost. The murder is coming. Thank fuck, you might be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> this is your moment. Stop, you cry. Stop before you commit a murder. Change your mind and I will never tell a soul. It's what I came for. Stop right now and give me what you were going to use. But who are you saying this to? Yeah, but it let me put six in. So what's the poll? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's a Rick roll. I'm not clicking on it. Your options are, obviously, the girl... Boy, Pam. Okay, so let's eliminate two and do it as a Twitter poll. Right, okay. Who who can we eliminate uh, based on 
what you've seen so far. Is there anyone? Okay, fine. We'll eliminate it somehow. It's someone else. It isn't. Yeah. So with that, <laughs> uh, can you can you eliminate one? Yes, fine. The girl is innocent. Francine. Francine doesn't matter for now. Pam. Um, I don't know how. It always matters. I don't know quite how we narrow it down. Uh, you tell us which one it isn't. The kid. The kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I suppose. Like, yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll just tell you all the answers. <laughs> I, I, as I said, I've only seen two story one uh, four once. I'm worried that I've overcommitted to my point of view. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll do it. A lot of people want to let the girl off. Okay. We could do it. Dorian says we Dorian, who's been excellent, says we can eliminate Bryn because he's the likely mm. bit. He's basing that on, well, we'll come to it afterwards. Weirdly, Gems is not the first person to say that looking like this, I look like I'm in a mid 2000s indie band. And let's not forget, actually, I played the drums on a song earlier, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Matt. The, t- the tie's off because we started talking about sex, and in, in, in those situations, I removed my tie. Um, <laughs> So we started talking about sex. I, I have some hand in what's happened. Um, very Maximo Park. Thank you. Her. I um, uh, yeah, that's about my level, I reckon. Um, <laughs> I, I lives next door to someone from Maximo Park. There, so there you go, Sam. As I said, not all drummers are cool. You you may leave the meeting there, Sarika. <laughs> <laughs> right? How are we gonna? How are we gonna? I reckon we. Let me think. It could be. It's, it's slightly important here to the uh, plotting. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna. So six has gone, but we're gonna remove one of the remaining five. And it looks like you either feel we should remove Bryn or the girl because there's been really no votes for anyone else. Um, uh, yes, you could. We Zoe is right. We could also vote. No, I don't think we can vote. In the chat box, though, because it would be nearly impossible to keep. Um, yeah, we should remove wrong. Okay, we re- so we've removed six. We re- let's remove another wrong answer. Yeah. Um, okay, the housekeeper is innocent. Oh. I'm taking the housekeeper out of it. We're down to the girl, the boy, Pam, and Bryn. And in a moment, that will manifest itself as an actual choice. Of yes, you're right. Yes. If anything, I'd like to see more people putting ooh in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> if, if this isn't a case of ooh, I don't know what is. All right. After eliminating someone else, everybody's here after all. And also, somehow, after eliminating the housekeeper in a way which doesn't break the fourth wall, look, the housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the most ooh so far from Artemis, but it can, can be beaten. Alex is eating a breadstick. Yeah. That's, my mum's not going to be the murderer, is she? So, we're... Or um, is she? Or is she? <laughs> or no, taking her off the poll. So, you now have... And this is maybe the most important poll of the company so far. You have to choose between oh. Pam, Bryn, the, the girls, a new record in Ooze. <laughs> um, the girl, the boy, Pam and Bryn. One of these... Is a, is is a victim? I think. Well, I know. And one of them, I won't say any more. Except you're going to try to. You're going to in a moment. You're going to stop one of those people from walking into the kitchen. And if it's the right one, you'll prevent a murder. And if it's the wrong one, there'll be a murder. And that's actually the same with real detectives. Uh huh. So think twice next time you sign up to be a detective. Hmm. We've had, we've all learned some things, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. I'm absolutely. I'm. I. I feel really sick. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I feel so sick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do we want to prevent a murder? Ask Cam. That might be a more interesting question than you think. Depends. Um, huge now. Huge support for the girl because it looked like it looked like you were, <laughs> <laughs> like you were trying to get the girl off the pole, and I tried to uh, keep her on it. That well, no spoilers, no spoilers. Dorian says it's the girl. She signed the love note M, which could refer to Maggie Simpson, who was responsible for Mr. the murder of Mr. Burns, in which letters. <laughs> it's time now to say that for a long time, Dorian has been 
uh, banging the drum that the strange name of uh, Bryn Timson, uh, Thompson is an anagram of Monty Burns, who in one of television's seminal moments was murdered by a child. Yes. Uh, I don't know who murdered, who, well, he wasn't murdered, but Mr. Burns is shot in, uh, have you never seen the episode, of, well, it's a double episode where Mr. Burns gets shot? You missed them. Have you seen The Simpsons? Have you seen The Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Where do we start? It's the biggest plot line Jason's in The Simpsons. Episode? Well, it's, it's not, yeah, for a start, why are you, why are you, okay, listen, Alec, 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 okay, I will help you. <laughs> right. You know, oh. The Simpsons, there's a bad old man called Montgomery Burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I know him as Mr. Burns. In the mid-90s, uh, the, there was uh, an end-of-season <laughs> episode, which was Mr. Burns getting shot, uh, having had the plan. I, to, I wasn't alive then. I know you weren't alive then. Anyway, it was left on a massive cliffhanger. He tried to shut the sun. He tried to destroy the sun, basically. Uh, and um, Excessive. Of course, it's excessive, but Burns is a bad guy. Um, and what was set up was one of the most amazing uh, murder mystery cliffhangers in history. But if you lived in this country, you got the answer. Like when you got the answer, depending on where you live, because some people got The Simpsons before other people, because you had to either have Sky or have. And so there were people in the country that knew who. Anyway, maybe Maggie and. Um, Anyway, it was What's really, that going to do with this? Well, quite a lot. Because the, <laughs> the, uh, uh, and it's not essential, but your man's uh, name is an anagram of Monty Burns. And Dorian's been saying that like almost all the way through both episodes. So I just didn't acknowledge it. But it does. The guy with the dog. Yeah, the guy with the dog. <laughs> yeah. Se- the September dog. 1995, that aired. Right, 1990. For a guy with a dog on his lap. <laughs> uh, and it's the guy whose name reminds, is. yeah it, 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 like Dorian is actually like the guy is, is an elite level detective because that's the only way you could have cracked all these clues I think <laughs> Dorian is consistently I'll say it ahead of this rabble of shit <laughs> now, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the only times in The Simpsons that uh Smithers ever goes against Burns. He, he refuses. It's unconscionably fiendish, is how he describes Burns' plan. That's how I learned the word unconscionable. Right. Well, you're going to convict um, the girl. I hope this is right. I really do. And also, I hope that if you are right, there's not a next level twist happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope. If your bladder is about to burst, you're absolutely well. Oh, that's Richard. Richard, go and have a wee, mate. Like, it's fine. You, you, it will end in the next 20 minutes, by the way. But also, like... Just bring it with you. <laughs> <laughs> your microphone, though, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've seen most things during this, but we haven't yet... No, turn it off. I do remember it wasn't someone did do that. It wasn't me. That's the stuff of nightmares. Give me the poison, darling. You say gently to the girl. I know you stole it when I was drawing you a bear. She sneaked up behind you, of course, in the last episode. I know you want to murder your granddad as revenge for him selling Mars, the bear. I know some other things will clear up either on Twitter later or in September. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, the imp- this is exactly how people do talk in murder mysteries. But for now, the important thing is you don't kill your granddad. It would ruin your life <clears throat> and other lives. The girl swallows hard and hands over the vial. Yes, it was on the BBC News website, Bex. Yes, we have. We've actually, we've planted so many clues. Um, Your knees go weak. The company will be delighted with you. More than that, you've saved a life. You've risen to a situation which would have crushed many others. You're a hero, except what's this commotion? A terrible cry from elsewhere in the house. Oh, God, you know where it's coming from. It's the murder room. You run there as fast as Usain Bolt fleeing a wasp. Nice sirens, actually. But you kind of know in your heart, it's too late. (laughs) (laughs) That's the mysterious stranger. And ketchup.
Ketchup is damn close to the rug. <laughs> My God, your God, his God, her God, everybody's God. Did the company know what was going to happen? Or did their eye only partly know? Did it go wrong? Did they know everything and have their own reasons? Is there even more about the company than that you don't know than you previously thought? Is its moral compass not what you hoped? Is there a moral compass? What is your role in it? What should you do next? You did roll the rug earlier, Mayan, but I didn't know that. All you can say, also, people can unroll rugs, pal. All you can say, <laughs> all you know, I've unrolled a rug. All you can say for sure is that there's a work get together next month. Maybe you'll meet more people in that same situation. Maybe you'll get some answers. You're going to need them soon before something even bigger happens. So a quick recap. You've successfully identified the potential murderer, but by saving Bryn from being murdered, you've caused the mysterious stranger to be murdered by him. In some ways, potentially a worse outcome. And there wasn't much you could have done about that. You did most things right. For the first time, you probably need to question whether you should be following the company's instructions, whether in fact it does have your best interest or the best interest of society at large at heart. Ooh. It's a bummer, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yes, I think we'll do a bit more ooh in the chat box, please. Um, Pear Thresden says, I don't think it's the first time aggression, nor do I actually. You've been being steered that way an awful lot. Um, Thank you for watching. I think it probably is appropriate to play them out with the Sinister again, if you can do that, uh, given how much time you put into it and given that I've given all my other interests up and I just play the drums these days. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. And only I can only play five of the drums. Um, well, we'll do credits on Twitter as usual, but very qu quickly, it is a case of uh, this has been created by, I mean, Matt did an unbelievable amount in this episode, even by his dad. <laughs> Um, Dorian hurts. solved most of the cases. Uh, Zoe is an over emotional uh, chemist, so don't go to Boots in Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, is, Alex is just like, a, just like this. Uh, AP leading his own applause break. <laughs> um, I'm Mark Watson. Oh, yeah. Uh, this has been, as usual, produced by Impatient Productions, uh, which is, well, I would say things like the Ann Coop, Seren Turner, and Maddie Bye, but all of them fled here yeah, hours ago, as you <laughs> heard. And the entire thing is a tribute to Corey. I said tribute to Corey Riley. She's it's not dead yet. Um, this has been, um, you did very well, collectively and individually. You did very well tonight. You have a lot to think about. Uh, as I say, we'll be on Twitter for a short while after this just to sort of um, tie up some of the loose ends but some of those loose ends will linger the next the company as we've said is uh, in August and part of the Edinburgh Fringe but will as always be streamed but it'll be a bit different because you'll be watching people uh, go around the building having a, a strange time of things and the building will be a church thank you very much for watching and listening this has been the longest one ever probably as well so thank you for your uh, perseverance and um, yeah, that probably is about it. Thank you once again for participating in this uh, enjoyable exorcism of personal demons. And it's time once again to watch the neglected Bond theme, Sinister. <laughs> 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 was intense I can't. She loves to stare at me That miss of those you sent The strange look in your eyes Well I just thought My girl is deep But lately babe I feel like you might Kill me in my sleep Look at her
time I interrupted you The day you made a voodoo I love Justin Bieber's wife The night I found you polishing That 26 inch knife Oh look at her Sinister, baby.